Hey everyone, Pan Bam Richard here. Welcome back to the Tales of Marathon Stream 3, Day 5 on the schedule. We are now officially at the halfway point of the marathon, which also means we are about uh, two days away from the release of the Tales of Arise localization, but a day... I'm getting this wrong here. We're, we're four days away from the end of the marathon, five days away from the Japanese release, and six days away from the localization. All right, let's get things going here. As um, yesterday, we just finished the Mind of Gnome. For those who uh, tuned into Marathon After Dark, you guys know the struggle after that. And now it's time to enter this hut, whatever this hut is. Hope everybody's doing fine and dandy on this bright morning or late night, depending on where you are in the world. And this puzzle here, I... This dungeon is actually pretty interesting. Like, I kind of like the gimmick to it. First time through, you're going to be wondering what to do and where to go, of course. Um, it's not linear. It's very... Well, it depends on where you go. But basically, I, I form particularly like this dungeon because of... Um, it kind of <laughs> represents how things are going as Reed just wants to still eat something. And Kiel just gives his uh, opinions, of course, as usual. With his astute observations and whatnot. Um, today, I wonder how much we're going to get done. And I don't mean in the sense of how I normally am with Vesperia. I more so mean um, how much I can fit. Because we... <laughs> This act two, again, all three acts are a very much a short sort of um, endeavor altogether. So I'm just curious to see how the end of today will go and how tomorrow will go because um, let's just see how much we can fit. <laughs> I don't know how much we can fit because we we might be getting into near the end of act three at the start of today. At the end of today, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Oh, actually, I think we might have our guest joining in right now. Give me a brief moment here. Uh, let's see. Gotta update the ticker before our guest joins in. Hello, hello, hello. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? If you are speaking right now, I cannot hear you at this moment. Uh, da, 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 da. Just chilling and waiting as we keep on going through the start of this. Uh, start of this right over here. Hello. Ooh, I thought I. Oh, I think I hear something. I think I hear you, Ab. Uh, I thought I heard something, but it suddenly dropped. Oh. You might have to adjust your mic settings a bit. Because I can hear some feedback, but I'm not quite sure if um, it's fully going through. You might have to check your uh, mic settings on Discord. Sometimes sensitivity can be an issue, like the input sensitivity. Meanwhile, let's see if we could get inside here first. You have to go all the way inside. Oh, oh, push to talk. Okay. Oh, and I think I could hear myself. Hey, how's it going, Abby? Just. Oh. Hi. Uh, is everything okay? Yep, it's fine. Okay. Uh, it seems like your mic is cutting in and out occasionally, but I think we could work with what we got right now. Uh, for those who are tuning in, um, who's joining me today is, uh, Abby, A745. She is known as the admin of Abyssal Chronicles, among other little things of the Tales of Fandom here or there. And we are here to talk about Tales of Eternia. We are currently at this hut right now, and we're going to go through a particular dungeon in this area, which... I was just talking about earlier, I really, this dungeon is more of a representation of how I like the dungeons in Eternia, and I guess while we're here, um, what do you, is there anything you'd like to share about Eternia, Abby? Anything at all? <laughs> Wait, give me a oh. Yeah, sorry, I was prefiguring out my mic. 
Oh, okay, okay. It sounds better now, actually. Yes. Oh, Hi, uh, where, what, which part are you in right now? Uh, we just finished the Mine of Gnome last night, and we are now in this hut. And we just witnessed our hero suddenly oh, gone in a trap of sleeping gas or something. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah. So, I think, well, if most people in the Tales fandom know, Eternia is still my favorite Tales game. And it also happens to be my first Tales game. So. <laughs> favorite and first, that's usually how it always comes into line here. So, uh, yeah. when did you play Eternia? Damn, uh, <laughs> it was way back in high high school or grade school. I, I maybe high school, <laughs> my age, <laughs> maybe high school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So this is your first Tales of Game, uh, Eternia. You saw the dub. You saw the amazing dub, and you saw everything else about it. Um, what are like? Because you say it's your favorite. Like, what are some things that come to mind with regards to the game altogether? But I, the first thing I really liked were the characters, and I don't know, at that time, the dub was actually good for me, but I don't, I wouldn't really know. Like, I haven't played a lot of games at that time. Eternia was like one of my first PlayStation 1 games, and also like one of my first RPGs, so I was just really starting out together with, I think, like I played Final Fantasy 8 or 9 at around the same time. And But I really liked the, how it was more of, like uh, serious story slash with also a mix of comedy and and of course the real th the at that time the real time linear motion battle system was actually sort of you know really really cool and innovative as compared to the other RPGs that are turn based. Yeah, I think it's really a big part for all of us with Tails at the time. Uh, specifically, it's a good thing you started with Eternia because uh, if you started with Fantasia or Destiny, it would have been much slower compared to the dynamics of this one. But it was Eternia that made me look for the other games like Fantasia and Destiny and sorry, Destiny the true Destiny Two one. Like after playing them, after playing Eternia, that was when I actually played the others. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like honestly, yeah. Um, that's pretty much how a lot of us really go through it and whatnot. <laughs> the actual Destiny Two. Uh, wait, so you you actually knew about the story and whatnot when you played through that, basically? Like, you you do have. I don't know why I'm saying this, because like, I know you have a knowledge of Japanese. It's like we haven't known. It's like I'm talking to we, I, we don't know each other, but we've known each other for a long time. So, um, no, but like that time, I didn't know a speck of Japanese. Like, you know, I, I was in high school. I didn't know. Like, I'm the the, the regular we who liked anime, but I was, it wasn't to the level of studying Japanese just yet. But uh, yeah, so I, when I found out about Eternia and. Uh, and then look uh, for Fantasia and Destiny and Destiny 2. The whole time I thought Destiny was the, like the prequel to Eternia. And then Destiny 2 was like, I don't know, maybe like a version 2. Similar to how they did it with Persona 2, I think. Yeah. That, until I actually played the game or, you know, researched about it. Like, uh, oh, it's not the same game. It's just, you know, naming problem, copyright problems, I think. Was it copyright problems? Uh, I mean... I, rem I, rem I looked into this a while back, and um, the localization director at the time, Aki Kozu, he did an interview with IGN, and what he told IGN is that um, apparently they did it because they wanted to make it like Final Fantasy, like Tales of Destiny, Tales of Destiny 2, because like that's because Tales of Destiny was the first game to come out. Maybe it was part of uh, copyright, but that was the story he gave during uh, the IGN interview. I, I thought it was something about the word Eternia, but I'm, oh yeah, I really, it's really foggy right now. That's okay. Uh, oh jeez, I'm already, I'm already at a bad start. This first floor here, uh, <laughs> uh, this is the very first floor, and now, like, it's like, um, I was mentioning this yesterday, and essentially, it's been three months since I last played this game. It's been three months. Uh, compared to the other games where it was easy to practice because I, uh, I what are they looking for? You can skip the cutscenes and all that, but I, I couldn't I couldn't fit this game back into a practice. So it, prepare for some meandering around here as I can't figure out this dungeon. <laughs> I've played uh, Turner like years since yeah, it's been years for Turner for me. 
I'm so sorry, Ethereum. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I think you have uh, other things to go for, so I'm pretty sure Eternia will forgive you. Run away from ambushes, because ambushes will kill you like this. Merity's already done. This is really not a good scenario. So we got to make sure that um, whenever you're in an ambush, an ambush scenario is when you're like in, like uh, when people are, the enemies are surrounding you, run away because your casters will not protect themselves unless you have the formation, which isn't too quick enough to shift to, unfortunately. Uh, so here. Heal. So do you remember the last time you touched Oh, I them? missed that. Oh, you missed the heal. <laughs> heal, heal. Yeah, I, I think uh, that's wrong. Like when I still had my PSP functioning, I think that's really long ago. Wow, really? Oh, okay, it says the PSP is functioning. I see, I see. Yeah. I bought the PSP version as well. So I thought the PSP version was pretty optimal until I started with seeing some yeah. weird graphical glitches yesterday, and I don't ever okay. want to see it again. <laughs> The the weirdest graphical glitch I saw was like, um, Keel summoned Efreet. I think somebody made a clip on this channel, but uh, Keel summoned Efreet and Efreet suddenly became the battery icon. Like, it suddenly became, what? like, yeah, no, it was so weird my first time seeing it. I'm like, what? What is going on? But, I mean, they're, they're just very minute, like the graphical glitches and whatnot. I, I mean, so far, I, I don't know how much more I'm going to run into, <laughs> but, um... I mean, otherwise, this PSP version is still really good because of the load times and whatnot, but I think you started first with the PS1 version, and you know the struggles. Yeah. And the multiple CDs. Yeah, the multiple CDs, and there's also, like, the, uh, the, the load times as well. I think the load times is the one thing I very much don't miss when I played this version. <laughs> Alright, so the whole gimmick to this puzzle is that we have to find a toy duck and we have to find a spring. Uh, toy duck and spring will get us to the next floor. And for every floor, you need to find a toy duck and spring, and there's always going to be a gimmick for each floor. So, the first one here was pretty easy. We just had to get the spring on the right and the toy duck at the, the left side. But on the left side, we had to spin a wheel to sort of get that going. So, there's always going to be a new gimmick per floor. Alright. Uh, so with, uh, sorry, go on. I hated this place. <laughs> <laughs> you hated this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, on first go, it is pretty rough, but you know, a part of me still kind of likes it because it just shows the the beauty of um, old school tales of with their dungeons and puzzles. Gets you thinking, you know. Uh, what was that? Sorry, I think the mic might not be picking you up there again. Uh, Alright, let's see if we could climb on up right over here. Uh, let's see what we could find. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta we got climb up over here and pick up some more stuff. Uh, let's see here. So right over here, we got a ghost shell, which is going to be good for Pharaoh. But you know what? I think, like, both these items are, like, very much, um, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? I think the boss might be, um, resistant to it, but I'm just going to double check to make sure once we get there. Um, but this one, we have to keep, uh, knocking down these statues, and essentially we're going to be finding the treasures along the way, I hope. I don't know. My notes for this floor are a little bit unclear, so I'm hoping it's simple. <laughs> Yeah. That's uh, one thing I missed with the. Let's do it. I think it's starting thing with. I forget if it's, is it Celia or Berseria. That's one thing I missed the the little icons they made for the equipment and weapons. Uh, Exilia still had them. I want to say Zestaria okay. started to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Berseria. I think I of missed them. I mean, from the arrays demo, it just seemed like they're gonna have it. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a lot more. Uh streamlined to not have the icons unfortunately but yeah that's one thing i'm definitely gonna miss for sure uh let's see here got the thrill helm and you know that also reminds me because like um when we pick up items throughout the series um they don't usually show the description on the screen but they only started doing that with like vesperia on the definitive edition or ps3 version i mean to say because like um uh -huh. before when you would pick up an item like 
it wouldn't show their description underneath, right? Um, but it started to become a thing when the PS3 version of Vesperia came out, and it was such a staple ever since. Let's see here. So we got the Duck Spring, and so this floor, all we had to do was like okay, constantly. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think it might be a connection thing now. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll do our best. We'll do our best with what we got over here. Um, dude, uh, so we just got our duck and we just got our toy spring. We're going to keep on going to the next floor here. And essentially, you know what? I'm rediscovering these puzzles. So <laughs> um, I can't remember what the, the sixth floor has over here. But oh, it has something to do with fans. Fans to uh, turn on, apparently. Uh, let's see what we could find. All right, uh, there should be a fan here? Or is there not a fan here? I guess there's no fan here. Okay, let's just uh, head back here then. Uh, head up north. Oh, this is the thing. Why did I call this a fan? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> Reed. <laughs> just, let's just touch, let's just do it. <laughs> uh, Reed is kind of like, oh, oh, okay, okay, so that's why I call it a fan, because it's blowing air. Got it, got it. It's good old fresh air. Uh, okay, so you mentioned the characters, you mentioned the battle Let's system, uh, you mentioned the voice acting. You know what, that's a very good point, because like, um, I, was, uh, I mentioned this yesterday, where it's like the voice acting to this game. It's certainly a product of the times, but I, I bet back then it must have been really revolutionary to experience. Oh jeez, oh jeez, these guns are rough. Guns are really rough. Let's get a demon hammer in. Yeah, these culprits and murders, I remember them like way back at uh uh Narguri Dungeon. I think we might be having some connection issues still with the mic, potentially. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see here. I think it's supposed to go to the west or something? Yeah, it's somewhere around here. No, wait, this is, this is from the east I went through. Or, oh, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, so we went through this door, we turned on the fan, and we gotta go through this door here first. And I think what you gotta do is, like, burn these burn these walls to keep going through. Because if you, if you accidentally examine the incorrect doors, then you're gonna run into another encounter. All right, sounds good, Abby. Uh, oh, why did I do it? <laughs> why did I just demonstrate it? <laughs> I guess. Oh no, I forgot. If you, if you run into them, you run into the these murders, and um, honestly, these enemies are like kind of akin to uh, enemies of the past as well. Uh, or later on, I mean to say. All right, I think we should be. You're very welcome for the demo, you know, I'm, that's what I'm here for. Uh, and can we run this? Yes, we can. So let's just run away and not touch that. Uh, can you... <laughs> uh, how's the audio going now, Abby? I can hear you now. Alright, perfect. I think that might have uh, fixed things with reconnecting and whatnot. Okay, uh, so I did uh, mention before that um, when you were talking about Eternia, you brought up the characters, you brought up the dub. You brought up the uh, battle system, and I was like thinking about like how it would have been back in the day, because I don't usually play too much GRPGs, but um, since you mentioned like Persona 2 and whatnot, uh, you definitely have. So um, I can only imagine like how it felt to have like gone through like an English dub for the first time. Like, uh, I think majority of the games I played actually had English dub, with the exception of. I think at that time, the Final Fantasy games didn't really have dub, like, they were voiceless. Or at least the text, it was just really text and, you know, just text. But uh, I, I think a bunch of games had a bit of voice dub, but Eternia was one of the first that I played that actually did have a voice dub. Because if, if I remember right, like, because I played Eternia when I was still starting out with the PS1, meaning it really is one of my first PS PlayStation games, so, like, uh, the other first games I played with it were yeah, FF8, and then Wild Arms 1, and then Ark the Lad 1 and 2. And I, if I remember right, none of those had voice acting. Uh, okay, so you mentioned Wild Arms and, and uh, which other games? Ark the Lad and Grandia. 
I played a lot of RP. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, Arc the Land sounds like something that could have a voice voice dub, but it might just be anime scenes. I don't know. I could be mistaken. Yeah, I but... can't remember. Yeah. But... Oh, no. I really hate these enemies. I was talking about these enemies before. Like, these enemies, they show up in, in uh, Symphonia as well, and you gotta get rid of this one right away, because it can do a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, so... Eternia was the first one you experienced with the English dub, then. Okay, I see now. Don't let your guard down yet. Uh... Yeah, so when it comes to the English dub, then, um... We were kind of talking bits and pieces about it. Um, I, I, what, what would you have to ultimately comment on with regards to the dub, Abby? Well, <laughs> well a lot of the vo the voice acting feels a little bit forced, I guess. Yeah. But I think that's a given in the old games, especially. But I really like like how they voice Meredy and this uh this somewhat sweet. Innocent like character. It's one of my one of the favorite things in the dub actually. Okay, okay. Uh yeah, I, I guess like when it comes to the dub, yeah, uh we did we do say how it's a product of the times and I think some people still generally still like it. Um the the ultimate thing that we said is that like, oh, i it feels like the casting is fine, they just need better direction. And it yeah, feels yeah. like the direction that they're doing at the time is more like uh, relative to the dubs in the past. Um, by the way, each one of these uh, question panels have a question, and they're all timed, so I'm going to answer them as quickly as I can. But um, feel free to join along uh, as we answer along here. Uh, the more of me there are, the less you see. What am I? It, see, that's how much time you got. I didn't even press anything yet. Do not even press anything yet. <laughs> You're given less than five seconds to read it. Actually, you know what would kind of make it easier to to uh, do? Uh, let's see if we could uh, reduce the, the text speed. No, actually, I don't think this works. Oh, it does work. Okay, so the more of me there are, the less you see. What am I? You're Fog. Yes. We're talking about voice acting in older games and when they became revolutionary for... Uh, I mean, like, yeah, basically, like, we need these games in order to, like, start off uh, the future games to sort of when they get dubbed and whatnot. So, I mean... Uh, oh, no. It's going to start really slow now. <laughs> the text that I speed that I said that. Um... But yeah, like, uh, generally speaking, that's usually how it would go with regards to the dubs. Like, if it weren't for games like this, then we wouldn't have, have the quality uh, voice acting we have today. The more I clean, a dirtier I get. What am I? You're a mop. What? It gives me less than five seconds to pick it. They really expect you to read it that quickly. I wish you guys could join along and answer the questions, but unfortunately, Eternia does not want you to. <laughs> and that's a no fault of Eternia. Uh, what is... It worked before. Uh, th oh, that's so weird. Wait, can I can I glitch it like that then? I wonder. What the what's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Anywho, uh, uh, let's see here. If I head to the west middle, then I gotta go down here. Uh, head down to the further west here. Uh, let's. Uh, I have a neck, but no hands. Two arms, but no hands. What am I? You're a, you're not. You're. You, uh, okay, didn't even give me a chance to read it. Did not give me a chance to read it. Yeah, sweater. It's a sweater. Let's try that again. These things are way too fast for me to even like try. <laughs> okay. Yep, we got our duck, toy duck, and I think. Game really wants me to get into encounters, which is fine. Valsus is fine. Um, <clears throat> have you tried playing? Uh, who do you usually play as in Eternia, then, uh, Abby? Reed or Farah? Always, always read. Always read. Always read. I had this thing when I was playing games before that I I almost always play as the main character. Mm. But almost now, always. Yeah. I that changed when I played Abyss because for some, well, I preferred playing Guy over Luke. Because guy uh, had faster movement speed and more combos, so usually when I play Arise, I, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you heard nothing when I play Abyss. Um, I play as guy. Sorry, I'm like, really excited for Arise. 
Oh no, of course, I understand. Uh, <laughs> I, I like playing as Reed in Tales of Arise. I like playing as Velvet in Tales of Arise. I also like playing as Yuri in Tales of Arise. Uh, anyway, uh, wait, so Arise is going to be really, really good when it comes out, I suppose, for those who are like looking forward to the next game. Um, what were your impressions of the demo, out of curiosity? I think the only gripe I had with the demo was it didn't really explain a lot of the game mechanics. But then again, it's supposed to be a demo. So I guess it's not supposed to be like that. I'm hoping that in the full game that they have more, I guess, concrete tutorials of some at some point. But in terms of like uh, graphics and because I played it on the PS5 uh, and graphics and art direction presentation, it's I really liked it. I guess the one another gripe would be the skits. I mean, I still miss the 2D skits with the animated faces, but it I guess it'll work. Yeah, uh, I guess one thing when it comes to this case, like I brought this, brought this up before, I, I didn't really play too much of the demo because I kind of wanted to like experience yeah. it all firsthand as much as I can. But um, the, the only thing with the skits is like, um, uh, oh, this is a joke. Um, <laughs> no, the answer of it is a joke. <laughs> but basically, uh, when it comes to the skits, I think the only thing that I like about, that I like to see more of is if we had like, um, when Alfin was cooking, um, that's why I want to see like more of basically like if we have more animated panels like that I think the skits presentation of Rise would work that way yeah. All right, so next floor over here. Yeah, that, that last floor was definitely a bit of a mess But you know what? It's okay. Eternia is a very short game. So, you know I still don't know how I could fit this in three days like it for a different reason <laughs> Compared to how Vesperia it took a long time to fit into three days uh, but, uh, so what we want to do here is that there's an object in here that you would have to find as a door. The door is this. Good old closet. Two hour breaks and it could work. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm giving myself 75 minute breaks and it's still like it feels like we're ahead of schedule. <laughs> um, alright, and where's the next one right here? Uh, we gotta go to the far west. Um... We went through a lot in the in the first act of Eternia, and we were talking about how um, in the first act, Pharaoh felt more like a main character compared to the rest of the cast at the time, which I thought was like a really cool way of um, having them uh, uh, introduce Reed as like he's supposed to be the main character, but he's not quite there yet. He was kind of dragged into this anyway. Yeah, he was definitely kind of dragged into it. Yeah. And it's it's one of the reasons why I like I, I really like this narrative because a lot of the cast here really flesh out their own ways. Um, uh, you could tell that they all evolve once you get from uh, from the act transitions and whatnot. Uh, yeah. We head over to the west here. Oh, we're gonna run into some block pushing, I think. Wait, no, not yet. We got we gotta get ourselves a toy duck spring. And there's something I have to do here with regards to sneaking in. Apparently there is a way to I, I apparently the way that I do this I kind of cheese a little bit I don't know if this is actually the way to do it Do you remember uh, the conveyor here that you gotta like pass by and whatnot? Oh wait, there's uh, you have to go through the. I was just curious to know if you if you remember what you had to do because this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it over here and that's I think that's how you're supposed to do it, right? that's right yeah because like um i always thought there was like another way to do it but i guess there was like no way of um particular like i think there's like a way where you could like turn off the conveyor somewhere around here but like all all I, ha all I had to do was just like um get the statue move it in front of the conveyor so that way it prevents you from like sliding down all, all the time and you should be good Let's yeah do it. okay bad scenario let's get out of here Ah, uh, we gotta escape. This is not a good scenario. Oh no, oh no. Move, move, move. Ambushes are not a good scenario for this cast at all. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, see if we can get a... Oh, yeah, poor Keel. Keel keeled over, unfortunately. But uh, now we got him backed up. 
get some heals going here. Heal, heal, heal. And uh, get Garden Salad as well. Uh, let's see here. What is this floor? Oh, oh, this is this is the the cameo floor. Um, you're gonna see some things here that is a rem has a nice little shoutouts to older Tales games. Um, you see all the pictures of the Tales of Destiny cast right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring uh Ston over to the left here. You can rotate those pictures. Um, how you know about these pictures is that. Um, throughout this floor, you're gonna see pictures that you can't move with, and there are references to the pictures that you can't move, so that's the gist of that. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, air thrust in. Actually, I've got to uh, update Merity spells? No, Merity spells are updated. Alright, so when it comes to Eternia, Abby, uh, which ones are like, uh, with regards to the Greater Kramals, uh, which ones would you say would be like your favorite out of the, out of the Kramals in this game? It looks like we're getting some connection issues again. Uh, in any case, let's uh, push on forward here with the floor. Um, we're going to move on forward to this room over right over here. And uh, head over to the left. And we got the Philia picture over here. Uh, we're going to rotate. We don't rotate this one yet because actually what we want to do is go all the way here and pick up our emerald ring. Very important. Very, very important. Oh wait, we can rotate it. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention. But we gotta get that uh, philia upside down. I head further down south, and uh, let's see if we could move past to the far west here, where we will find our next picture to rotate. Oh, so these are the reference pictures, by the way. I think all the reference pictures are over here. So that's how you know philia is upside down, stun is to the left, and Rudy is to the right. Uh, so we just have to head right over here and rotate this one, and that unlock something so that we could get to the next room. I wish I remember which part it unlocked, but it didn't particularly work. Um, I don't particularly remember, I mean to say. Uh, okay, so let's use the toy duck for the spring. And I think that unlocks the path to the next area right over here. So I guess it unlocks the main door at the top, essentially. Oh, let's do it. Okay, we got some more culprits and criminals. Let's see if we can knock them out. Demon hammer. Oh. oh geez, oh geez, we're getting caught with pretty bad right now. Sonic blade. Sonic blades in. Sonic blade. Sonic blade. Thanks for the heal, Keel. Jeez, I just realized. Just realized what it was that we gave Keel. It all rhymes. It rhymes too much. Okay. Get the demon hammer in. Alright. Alright. Sorry, I got disconnected. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I have an eye on the Discord window, so if I notice something that like that happens, I'll make sure to adjust. Uh, so right now we're in the final... I think this is the final floor, floor one. Yeah, okay. We also have a low point here. That's certainly not ominous at all. Uh, let's get some heals going on here. I, I did uh, throw the question uh, before you got disconnected. Uh, out of all the Kramals in the in this game, Abby, which one would you say is your favorite? Favorite? Sorry, favorite what? Uh, favorite Kramal? Oh, Celsius. Oh, Celsius, eh? Yeah. Mainly because I really like the spells that came with her. Like... Uh, for using her face as Lancer, Blizzard, I really like them. And I like the whole... I think it, there, it was with her where there was the part where she showed like she's, she kind of hated the freak at one point. Yeah, But I guess yeah. it's because more of an element thing. But yeah. yeah uh, Celsius and... Uh, I actually just Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, like, I guess, like, they made it because, like, they're supposed to be polar opposites and whatnot. Um, they also carried that over to Symphonia, which was a, which was a nice touch, because, um, Celsius was never in Fantasia at all. Oh, yeah, she wasn't. Yeah, like, like, uh, this game was when, uh, Celsius showed up, so that's why it's, like, 
Um, that's why they started to... I don't know, like, they never really retroactively brought Celsius back into Fantasia, even though, like... Celsius was there in Symphonia, which is supposed to be the prequel game, so I, I don't know. Well, I mean, it makes sense. I'm, I'm also talking about, like, uh, Fantasia Narukiri Dungeon Cross, because Fantasia Narukiri Dungeon Cross um, is, like, it's the follow-up of Fantasia, and Celsius doesn't show up there at all, which is a little bit... I don't know. They could have had the opportunity, they didn't take it. That's all. Alright, so we're going to take on this set again. Um... I personally like uh, Shadow, and I think we might be getting Shadow by the end of today. And because like I just like the whole design where he's like he looks like a knight and everything. And um, but no, I definitely see what you're saying. Where it's like, oh, Celsius. Once you get Celsius, Freeze Lancer and Blizzard is very useful. Super, yeah, super yeah. useful. <laughs> I use the spam them all the time. Oh, yeah, it's just really bad um, when it's used against you. <laughs> that's gonna be the I problem. Like that too. <laughs> All right, so we got the three books that did I wait? No, no, no! Did I put them in the wrong order? Oh wait, wait, wait! They're they're, they're based on color. Wait, what, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm returning books. Did I not put the books in properly? Oh, I probably didn't. Uh, hold up. Uh, I picked up ducks from around the world. I picked up Ifrit's guide to sailing for imbeciles. <laughs> uh, what am I? What? Wait, where's the other book? Oh, now now I'm really confused. What is going on here? Uh, something about books. Okay, I put that in. I put this in. Oh, oh, okay. I'm I'm clearly not reading. Uh, I brew forty. I brew forced this so many. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like a little bit confused there. I guess got to play librarian for a bit. Uh, I always forget uh, Celsius first appeared in this game. Yeah, Celsius was the one who first appeared here. Freeze Lancer is mm -hmm. definitely OP. Um, yeah. Let's see here. So. You know, knockback is really useful too. Yeah. Got the toy duck for the switch. Push it through. And it's time to move on to the next floor. Should be easy to get through. Or fight this boss. Oh. What is this? It's like suddenly we were suddenly meeting a Gundam in this uh, in this dungeon. Okay, we're gonna do a quick save here. I'm gonna get things going. Uh, I think everybody's all healed up. I gotta stop pressing triangle there. Uh, let's see here. Heal, 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 heal. And heal to heal. And I guess we'll prepare ourselves a soft cake. Thank you. And we should be ready to go. Uh, what was that? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. Okay, I thought I heard something. Alright, so versus Guardian here, just keep moving a lot, because this thing is pretty gigantic. Make sure you keep yourself constantly in, mo in motion, and make sure that you take it down. It is weak to water, fire, and ice, so... You should be able to take advantage of it with... Oh, I should have split up, uh... Uh, Efreed and Undi, because now only... Merity won't do as effective damage. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh, jeez, I forgot how... How... Oh, jeez, that really flashes. Um... What do you think about the battle themes of this game, Abby? Which one's your favorite? You know, I have a really... Pro uh, main problem is, like, I don't remember the song. Oh, really? Okay. I don't song. Okay. But I just remember, like, the battle theme from theme. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I like the battle themes once you reach Celestia. Like, those, are, those are actually my favorite. Yeah. It's usually... That's usually the point where the songs reach that wrap up, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Guardian, what are you doing with the flashlight there? Stop flashing the light. <laughs> Please. Uh, all right. Everybody's casting a spell. Okay, I'll give an apple jump to Meridian. Oh. 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 Jeez, this thing is way too fast. It's just zooming around in the speed of sound. Okay. Uh, let's get the apple jump here for Reed. Got a demon hammer. Jeez. Come on, this thing. This guardian right over here. 
This thing, this thing's got like its own little night combos and everything. And oh my gosh, stop flashing the screen there. What is going on? Why is it constantly flashing the screen? That's one of the mess up effects from the from the PS1 version. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Get a demon hammer in. Oh, quite working. Oh my gosh, this thing, this thing keeps running away from my attacks and my spells. Oh my gosh, stop flashing the screen. <laughs> okay, actually, Kiel, we need you to cast Eruption. Oh, you should have heal on too. Kiel to heal. And Aqua Edge. Truly a formidable guardian, I agree. Oh my! Uh, uh, get a life bottle in, I suppose. Let's go. Oh no, oh no. Demon Hammer! All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, Meredith, have an apple gel. <laughs> this is not going well. Have a life bottle, Reed. Demon hammer. Did the demon hammer dodge through the attack? I think it did. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It certainly didn't. Uh... Oh, Farah. No, 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 Farah. Get the lemon gel. Oh, my gosh. Uh... This is going well. I think it's going very well, everybody. Air thrust. Get yourself an apple gel. I think this is going very swimmingly, guys. I'm glad. I'm glad you all agree. This is this is a this is a very good battle that's happening right now. Okay, it's getting it's getting read alive there. Oh, those flashing lights are annoying. Spectacles. We we're barely we're. We, we were like less than half two. Oh my gosh. Uh. Yeah, a bit a bit under half, but still, it wasn't quite enough damage. I thought we did a lot, but it keeps weaving around and, and avoiding our attacks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, this is a wake up call for the morning, I'd like to say. Oh, please heal. Keel. Heal. No, Keel. Un Undini. Heal. <laughs> Uh, all right, Kiel. You know what to do. Bring out the Undini. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Everything's all reset. We're back. We're back. The entire party's back. We're ready for this. We're ready for this. Let's go. Stop avoiding. He even avoids eruption. Well, not the fireball. So we're okay. We're okay. Okay. Let's keep it going. Even twist. Come on. The stupid guardian keeps. Flying all over the place. Stay still. <laughs> oh my gosh, this boss. Ah, flashing lights really do not help. Oh my gosh, it really doesn't help. Okay, apple gel. Give an apple gel to kill, or or not. Man, man, that's high damage output for this for for this battle right now. <laughs> or I might not be blocking too much too, but I try to block. But jeez, I I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, apple gel to me. This is really going well. This is going splendidly. Uh, I've got to equip the second emerald ring. Uh, I might have to do a reset. <laughs> that Undini was lovely, but it didn't quite help at the end of the day. Oh, jeez, jeez, just running towards it. Oh my gosh. That's really not cool. That's really not cool, Eternia. Oh my gosh. Is this the added difficulty of the boss? It's just constantly flashing the light over and over again? I don't remember this for some reason. Oh, oh, Meredy, you know what to do. All right, Meredy, it's time to bring forth the Sylph. Uh, okay. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, that's decent damage. Actually, that's that's pretty good damage. We're we're close. We're close. Just don't die, anybody. We already we already died once to Sylph. Uh, a little bit coincidental, but come on, we gotta finish this. I'll take all the damage. I'll take all the damage. Let's go. Come on, we're so close. Will this finish it? No, not quite. Wait, how much HP do we have left? Oh, 2,000? Okay, I thought we, we did more than that, but I guess not. Do you see this guardian? It ran away from the eruption. All right, well, we're gonna keep it going right over here. Get the demon twist. Air thrust. All right, all right. We're close, we're close, we're close, we're really close. Oh no. There we go, okay. <laughs> that was a little bit rough, but all right. We made it. We made it. 
three minutes of dying a lot, but we did it. We did it. Mission complete. Okay, uh, see if we can get some skills going here. Well, actually, I don't think we have to. Uh, what do we need to do? I need to give a... I need to give a, an emerald ring to Farah. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to get rid of these. And, uh... Give this to Meredy and give this to Keel. This to Reed. Maybe give this to Farah. Ah, uh, the contrast of the 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 the, the song to All what right, we just went exit. through was certainly rough. Well done. You ah, yes. The test. Oh, chat. The one character that brings everybody together, or every game together, well in this marathon, Ifrid. It's all about Ifrid. Yeah. Who are you, boy? Is this, <laughs> Is this Patty? <laughs> Oh. I missed it. <laughs> the dub is certainly something, that's My for sure. My name is Chat. I'm a descendant of the great and honorable pirate, Ifrid. Patty? Besides, considering my sex, boy is hardly the appropriate expression. Look, look, everybody in the Rarity chat is in this what? game. Oh, uh, what was that? Even Rarity's like, what? <laughs> well, she's like descendant of Ifrid. Who's Ifrid? The chat is in the game now. All of you are in this game. Come on, this is a waste of time. Only if it were in my backyard. Unfortunately, the So yes, um, chat here. Um, the additional characters you get in this game. Um, I want to say that chat doesn't particularly match up to Max, in my opinion, in terms of narrative. Even though this game focuses on the main four, but. Um, battle-wise, she's kind of silly to play with. Hey, I don't know if I will do it, but I guess we'll see what happens after this, uh, after this little dungeon or cutscene. Have you never placed her in my party? Oh, you never placed her in the party? I think maybe at one point I replaced Mary or Kiel with Max, but other than that, I never really touched the four. Oh, okay, okay. We've got no spare time for treasure. You get chat and Max like sort of really far in into the game, right? So I already got these sleeps in just these four, then suddenly new characters, so Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. Well, will you be my deck hands? Chat will become a little bit useful for the next uh, uh battle, well, I wanna say. I think I could use her in the next No no way I can't just yet, because we're actually gonna be Heading off to get our next Kramo very soon. The one we were just talking about, actually. But <laughs> here's the thing. It's like, this is your choice as the player to decide whether you want to join chat or not. And honestly, you have nowhere to go. It's like, they give you the option, but it's like, all right, well, I don't want to join chat. So you can just, like, leave and walk away and, like, run away from here, too. But then, like, even after you leave this uh, area... You'll have like no idea where to go, but then like even the skip will be like call you out in a little bit. But we need this ship. Let's be your deck hands. Yep, it's time to time to accept chat. <laughs> even Keel thinks it's a ridiculous idea, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Alright, can we go inside? There we go. Chat. We need to chat. Let's talk. That was surprisingly fast. Will you become my deckhand? Nah, I don't feel like it. All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll be your deckhands. There's no, there's no way this plot will advance. Let's become your deckhands. Not subordinates, but deckhands. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta get some pirate speed going. Oh yeah, that picture on the wall. Is that supposed to be original Ifrid? It looks like original Ifrid. That's Ifrid. Okay. 
And I remember that mask too, because that mask is like your store, because you don't find a store anywhere near. Actually, the store is nearby, like in Mind of Gnome. Like Mind of Gnome, there are some gnomes that can help you out with items. Ah, uh, and down the escalator we go. You could do that too, you could examine the picture to yourself, but nothing changes, if I recall correctly, so... Um, if you accidentally examine things like you would in this game, then... Um, you will see something that can... That you can kind of get hidden at this, but... Really... Don't do it, it's gonna waste your time. Alright, this, this is actually going to be really cool because um, the next cutscene is pretty much the, like, I like the CG of the next cutscene because it, it really screams like old school PS1 CG rendering and I and I like how it they, they serve it for the reveal of this. Well, not quite yet. Oh, this song! You know when I heard this song in Radiant Mythology, I was like... This sounds familiar, but I don't hear it often. Like, you hear it here. And I think it's like the only time it plays unless there's like somewhere where it plays later on. But essentially, like, I forgot this was a part of like the, the Von Altia song, because you always hear the other one. Yeah, RM2. Yeah, for Chase, you know what's up. Yeah, so Van Altia means wealth in Celestian, so. If you're playing Berseria, we've been we've been riding on a wealth boat all this time. Yeah, there's another connection. <laughs> the Van Eltia debuted in this game, Tales of Eternia. And essentially it um what are words I'm looking for? It was the foundation for it. Well, it's been the boat for a while in Radiant Mythology 2 and 3, but it's basically the reference that happens in uh in Berseria. I don't think it, it shows up anywhere else in a mainline game, though. It definitely shows up in a lot of crossovers, that's for sure. I think it was just Berseria. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. Definitely just Berseria. Alright. One of my favorite things with Eternia, though, is definitely the Van Alter. Because of the customization thing you can do with it, like, a little later. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing about it, because, like... Uh, you could customize this ship to have like your own store, your own inn, your own arcade. Like <laughs> there's a lot you can do with it, but it's gonna be really expensive. Uh, we might run into some of those upgrades though if we're lucky with our money. And Keel just geeking out over the technology as usual. He's like a kid in a candy store. Oh, have you? Have you, Keel? Recalling you out on this stuff for good reason. All right, where's the where's the all divide I'm looking for? It's somewhere around here. There it is. Okay, perfect. All right, and now we're off to the Van Knife, the Van Eltia. Yeah, Eternia really don't like to show off his tech from time to time. Like, I, ah, uh, like. When you see this, and when you play the Radiant Mythology games, it's just nice to consider and think about how this game is like, um, has a 2D stuff, and Radiant Mythology 2 and 3 have, has it rendered in 3D. It, it was definitely a fan service moment, that's for sure. I think most people remember, like, who played RM2 or 3 but not Eternia remember this more because of the Radiant Mythology games. Machines are beautiful! I think that was like a line that was used in the Magic Carta as well on Graces. I think I think that sounds about right. Oh, I didn't realize there was a lens there. Well, we got a lens. All right, chat introducing us to the controls and everything. And we should be good to set sail. Actually, you know what? We can set sail ourselves. Let's do this. Oh, no, we can't. We have to let chat set sail for the first one. Well, that was worth a shot. Let's go, chat. 
Here it is. Pre-rendered CG cutscenes. I think one of my favorite songs in Eternia was also the Van Eltia theme. Yeah, that's a good one. Van Eltia is definitely a really good one, and you hear it a lot on the field. It doesn't it doesn't get old, but there's a, there's a theme with the upgrade of Van Eltia that gets really old really fast, which we'll be getting to later on in the day, but this song, this song is fantastic. The, the Van Eltia theme. Oh look at look at the colors. Yeah, and the colors. Yeah. So good, so good. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm so glad we're playing it on PSP, because in PS1 these cutscenes are like really compressed. Like they run they run a little bit slower. Here it's a little bit slow as well, but not no, it's here. This is much more smoother, but in PS1 it was definitely more like compressed and not quite as smooth. Oh, look at that blur right at the right at the end there for the Van Eltia. But yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. All right, I think now it's time for the question for the giveaway. Uh, for those who are tuning in for the first time, uh, we're doing a giveaway for this marathon stream. As you can see right now on the screen, there is a link there called bit.ly slash capital T-O-M-S-3 giveaway, lowercase giveaway. Uh, follow the instructions if you, if you need a reference point with regards to that. The question will be up for 40 minutes, and your question is... List the two items used to activate switches at Chat's Hut. Your timer starts now. Say that we can't pilot this stuff, yes, but um, I forgot where we're going. Where are we going first? Let's go to Peruti. Yeah, Peruti. It's time for our next Greater Cramel. Actually, there's some some cute little things that we can explore while we're at Peruti, and it's 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 the little things like that. And also, Chat just don't like pets. Chat doesn't like animals. There you go. But yeah, there's some... There's She's some... throwing a tantrum. Yeah, it's pretty much throwing a tantrum. But yeah, there's some things that Peruti to explore that I kind of want, want to, like, uh, show off a little bit before we head off to the actual dungeon. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. If I depict, she may be the, the weakest character of the cast in terms of narrative, but... And she's just a kid, just like Kiel says. She's pretty much a kid who tries to be an adult, but she's still a kid at the end of the day. Alright. So, it's time for... Oh man, this looks so much more smoother on PSP. Van Eltia running at 60 frames? Beautiful. Much better than uh, what we got at PS1. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I keep bringing up the PS1. Uh, the PS1 copy still is a monumental release because of what it pushed forward for Eternia and whatnot, or the Tale series in general, but it's just nice to see the little things upgraded when you play the PSP version of this game. <laughs> Alright. It's time for us to make a grand entrance into the port. Let's see how our expert pilot is going to make our landing right here. Boom, just like that. Yep. <laughs> right into the ice. K uh, you okay there, Kyo? <laughs> you look like you've seen better days. <laughs> you are right there, buddy. Alright, well I had a glitch here that happened when uh, I was uh, practicing for the PSP version. Uh, Meredith has a line here where she mentions, oh, it's so cold, and then the game freezes. It's like, oh, thanks, Meredy, you jinxed it. Wow, chat, that was a little bit direct. 
<laughs> Kiel's like, I'm sick of this. Don't ever mention that again, please. Alright. Our whole gang's back together, and it's time to explore Peruti. The port city. <laughs> Nobody here likes the cold. Alright, we got a mystery here, apparently. It's a little bit too cold here, apparently. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, what was that? Celsius. This is the part where we get Celsius, right? Yes, yes. We we're getting your favorite Raider Kramel, so uh -huh. there's some good timing right here. Yeah, it's cold. Game freezes. Yeah, that's what happened to my PSP practice. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Alright, so I think what we have to do here first, we need to make sure I have 60,000 gold. I don't have 60,000 gold. That sucks. I'm gonna have to actually. Let me see here. Okay, I feel like I need to upgrade my equipment too, because I feel like we're kind of behind in terms of equipment, because I'm kind of just trying to breeze through it, but. Again, it's been so long since I, since I practiced this game that I um, I feel like my equipment isn't quite up to snuff currently at this point. Um, more so, I want to talk about the armor. Weapons are fine. Armor is a different story altogether. Thanks, Meredy. <laughs> they didn't realize you were our you are a weather person. You know, that guy in the left, like, right close to Reed, kind of looks like Rowan a bit. Just with a different color hair. Same sprite, though. Alright. Let's, uh, talk to the townsfolk and see what's going on here. Your cook, ran, cook away. ran away as well. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> with the sense of all right i feel like we're back in act one pharaoh's like we gotta do this reads like are you really sure about that and he's like oh, i guess oh eternia this game snow gear all right i guess that's a good idea i guess we could talk to this little thing too what is it, Meredy? A Mia kiss. Okay. Mia kiss to our hearts. Mia kiss to our hearts, yes. We'll definitely be hearing that phrase a lot later. Quick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, I can't wait till we get there. Best character. Best character. <laughs> Because all he needs is one word. Oh, ow. Does that actually damage you? No, it doesn't. Okay. I, I, I was curious about that before, but I won't touch it again. I won't touch it again. Okay. Move further on up here. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. I like how they bring this jingle back in Tales of Vesperia as well. And uh, Tales of Fantasia Nyarkiri Dungeon Cross. She. Perfect. Perfect for the cold weather. We need rice, shrimp, tuna, and black satay. I prefer my with salmon. Though salmon is expensive. So, I understand the tuna. I understand the tuna. It's a cheaper alternative. And an apple gel. Wait, what? It burnt to a crisp! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Darn it, this game. I wanted that apple gel. I wanted that apple gel. Alright. Uh, is there anything else that we need to do here? 2,000 gold to sleep? Oh, I miss the old days nope. in Inferia when they're like 20 gold. Uh, okay. I didn't want to leave. Why did, why did I leave? Anyway, let's listen to the skit. Uh, it's so cold. We're gonna freeze. Let's wear something a little warmer. 
Okay. Good idea, Reed. I didn't intend to leave, but we should find something to wear a little bit warmer. Funny thing is, like, during my first, very, very first playthrough with Eternia, like, I didn't know the skits existed. Or, like, that you had to press a button to listen to them. So I think I finished the game without looking at a single skit, or at least looking at a single op optional skit. Yeah. I, I think Sheena mentioned that too yesterday when she was on. Like, um, there was only one hint about it. Um, they tell you before you leave the first time, like, oh, press select if you need a hint. But, um, yeah, I, I don't. I think how they presented it, they didn't really make it clear in the game yeah. that they're actually skits. Yeah, like, I understood it as if you need help. The thing is, I kind of finished the game without needing help, so I never pressed the button. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But it's kind of nice to see the skits, you know? It's, it's, I I mean, it's unfortunate it's not all of it, but I'd rather... At least they did do some. I don't know why they didn't do all of it, but I guess it's a, it, might, it must have cost them a lot of money, probably. All right. Well, this is going to be a little segment in itself because um, your three friends here, I'm going to try to figure out what they want to wear. And, well, you're going to have to help them out to pick what they want to wear, basically. So we have to talk to each, of, each and every one of them first and know where they are. Well, <laughs> honestly, Meredith's the easiest to find. As long as you know where Meredith is and you know where Farrah and Keel are. Thanks to Quickie. Okay. So, what we're gonna do first, uh, let's pick up this, uh, trench coat. Hey, Keel, you wanna try this out? Might work for you. Alright! Okay, we're good, we're ready to go. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. You, you, kind, you kind of rock it a bit. Let's do it, Keel. What? What? Oh, come on! Well, I mean, you, you, you do... <laughs> Alright, I get it, Keel. You don't want it. I get it. Alright, fine. You don't need mobility. You just have to spell. <laughs> fine, give it back, Keel. Alright. Alright. Let's... Let's put that one back, and let's get something else. All right. How about the... Santa costume. Yeah, the Santa costume. Let's uh, head over to Farah. Maybe she could um, bring some Christmas cheer. It, it, it's it's a theme. It's a theme with, the, with this town, after all. All right. Perfect. We're going to have a... We're gonna have a Santa with us in our battles and travels. Uh, it actually looks pretty good on her. Joy to the world. Now, where's my list? <laughs> there you go, Reed. Aw. It looks fine. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess, I guess if you don't wanna dress up as Santa, then okay, I see how it is. Well, I think we're I questioned all for about this though. Mm -hmm. Does like the Santa exist here? But I'm sure I'm assuming yes because she's a costume. <laughs> hey, if Germany can exist in Vesperia, I wanna say that Santa exists in this world. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a down jacket here. And uh hey, let's have Meredith try it out. Okay, Meredith, let's see what you got. There you go. All right, we got an actual one here now. We're ready to go. Okay, that looks that actually looks really good for the winter. For this for this entire environment, looks like she can do it. Uh Meredith? Oh no. Yeah, okay, never mind. Probably not a good idea. Let's change it again. That's unfortunate. I don't have to get so frustrated about that one, Reed. Okay, let's uh, try... Oh, you know what? Maybe this could work.
<laughs> Red Chase, you know what's up. <laughs> All right. Show it off, Meredy. Let's see how this looks on you. There you go. What? Looks very cozy. Meow. That's <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Anybody remember that? <laughs> Reed's like, oh, this is too embarrassing. I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> Meow. Uh, did you explore all these costumes, Abby, out of curiosity? Yep, I actually... Like, I... I had the save point before it, and then I, when I... I just checked out all the costumes. But then when I got the right one, I... You know, I loaded it again. Ah, I just see. to check if what the others look like. Alright. Let's check this one. Maybe this one might work for Farah. This is what we're doing, everybody, to pad out Eternia. But I, I like showing this stuff off. It's, it's kind of cool. And you get neat little cameos like this. <laughs> search gold! I mean, that's very accurate, because Tales of Destiny PS1, all she does is search gold unless you turn it off. Oh, oh dear, Reed. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Yeah, let's uh, give that back. Alright. Uh, I think we're close to almost uh, showing things off. There might be one more. Uh, oh yeah, I remember now. I remember. Alright, Kiel, I think I found the best one for you. You might be able to do well in the cold with this. What do you think, Keel? <laughs> it just introducing new football star, Keel Zabel. Let's go, Keel. Robes underneath. <laughs> yeah. Do I look like I'm a Kramo <laughs> ball player? It's too flashy. Color scheme is on. I get it, Kiel. You don't like it. You can just say it in one word. <laughs> uh, it's not suited for intellectual people. Oh, Kiel. Oh, Kiel. Don't ever change. Well, actually, please change. Change to who you are now. All right, hands are free. Okay, let's actually get the actual outfits here. Uh, first off, we're gonna need a poncho. We're gonna have to hand it off to Farah. So I think like it was in Raves, they brought some of these outfits over to uh, for Reed and Farah. I don't think they did it for Meredith and Kiel though. But it's cool to find and finally fight in battle with these outfits. There you go. Fair with the poncho. She's all good to go. Uh, next up, for Keel, we're gonna need... Uh, <laughs> I wish the ape costume could have been worn. If nobody wears the ape costume, it's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> yeah, because like all those other choices, they don't really do anything for anybody else. They just like, like, why would I wear this or something generic like that. Oh, oh, people keep reminding me of the, the, the Guilty Gear collab. I want to do it, but I still have the marathon to go through. <laughs> oh, there'll still be time for me to grind it out. Offers protection for both enemies and the elements and allow maximum mobility. Okay, we get it, Kiel. You like it. You like it, Kiel. <laughs> uh, and finally... Smell of the rays. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anywho, final, final outfit for Meredy. All right, let's see Meredy's big reveal with the cape. Ah, she looks nice on her. It's adorable. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> it looks very. 
poofy. All right, um, before... Oh yeah, we gotta get reeds. <laughs> I completely forgot about reeds after all that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, the shopkeep has something just for us. There you go. <laughs> it's not bother going to a dressing room. <laughs> nah, reeds got special powers. He just hides it from everybody. Okay, um, also this is an equipment shop. Make sure you shop here, because... It will make the next battle much easier if you if you do. Um, I'm gonna sell some stuff. I wish I know it's an old game, but I kind of wish they had like a way to sort out the items a bit better because it's a little it's a little bit hard to find stuff. Uh, let's see here. What do you do? Get rid of this. Actually, hmm. do we? Would that work on him? Oh, actually, that works better on him. Oh, let's keep that. I thought I had everybody's optimals. Hmm. Equip. Uh, optimal. 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 Okay. All right. Let's see what we can get rid of now. Uh, we should probably get rid of the misty robe. I guess we could get rid of um, bone knuckles. Wait, which one is better? Oh yeah, definitely. But definitely bear claw. Uh, bone knuckles is shadow elemental though. Uh, get rid of Ruby One, get rid of Bardis, I guess. Arc Wind, yeah, is getting outclassed. Uh, Trident is also getting outclassed. Flambridge we're gonna definitely keep. Uh, oh, you know what? We gotta use a Charm Bottle, actually. Hold up. How, how much do they cost? They're 20k each? I didn't have a Charm Bottle at the time, but now I think it's a perfect time to use a Charm Bottle. But you know what's better to, do, to use in a Charm Bottle? We use a Miracle Charm. I think it's the last time- well, actually, Symphonia was the last one to really use rune bottles, if I, if I recall correctly. We're gonna need three- three freeze charms. <laughs> it's gonna be very important for the next fight. Very important. Alright. Alright, I'm so glad I got the- I got the charms, because if I didn't have the charms, like, I'd be- it's gonna be pretty rough. Okay, freeze charm. Freeze charm. Perfect. Okay, we're off. Good point, Reed. Superpowers. Changing clothes while he spins. Uh, the inn is 2000, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. I remember making that point. Oh, this is where you buy standard apple gels. I completely missed this. Okay, well, I guess I'll just get this much then and sell off the Misty Robe. Maybe Storm Shield too, now that I'm looking at it. Good old sleepy time. Ugh. All right. Is off to quell the cold of Peruti and this entire region. Uh, how do I exit? There you go. Tell us what we need to know. They say Mount Celsius is to the north of Peruti. All right. <laughs> to the point. Thank you, Farah. What did you end up playing after uh, Tales of Eternia, Abby? By the way. I played. Because uh, I I thought the whole time this Eternia was, you know, Destiny 2. So I played Destiny 1. Or original Destiny for PS1. And I was so confused because there's nothing connecting the two at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think somebody else mentioned that too during Vesperia. Like the two games. that That's basically what the localization director was trying to do. So, so it worked. It worked. <laughs> What do you remember about Tales of Destiny then? Were there things that you liked or things that you disliked? Like, what's the big thing about it for you? Well, well, for one thing, I thought, because I went to Eternia first and then I went to Destiny, so I thought it was like somewhat of a downgrade in terms of battle system. Mm -hmm. And I really, really hated that. What was the dungeon? Spoilers. At the, like, at the, the atmosphere of the planet? Uh... The ether sphere? 
I yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hated that dungeon. Like, I played for... I was playing the game, like, continuously. Uh, every after school or something. And then when I went to that dungeon, I had such a hard time with it. That I, like, I abandoned the game halfway. And then I only came back to it, like, almost like a year later. When I had the drive again to finish it. <laughs> yeah, definitely I could see, like, going back to Destiny, especially from Eternia at that time, must have been really rough. And then I went back to Fantasia from there. Like, when I, when I quit Destiny halfway, I went to Fantasia. <laughs> oh, um, no. But it was like, you know how sometimes they leave you in the air with where and you don't know where you're gonna go next. Although I did manage to finish it um, before I went back to Destiny, actually. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, it's more so like the gameplay of uh, Destiny that really got you, basically. Yeah, well, the gameplay was okay. It's just it was really just the either speed that they hate. Uh, I heard you could get a bicycle for that. I never got the bicycle myself in my playthroughs, but apparently it's a thing. Oh, yeah. let's, let's play a Sparrow in this. I'm play Sparrow. Don't let your guard down. Ooh, French or new Cremal art. Did I forget to French? Yeah, that's one thing about this game. You know what? Actually, I have to. I need I really to like up. this mm -hmm. feature. This I feature? really like this feature, the French oh, thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty unique. Like, it gives you, like, uh, different combos and stuff like that. Um, how would you normally set up your Kramos then? You know? <laughs> I just put them at random, like, put them here. Put them left and right, so I'm gonna form something. That should be shit. Fair enough. I didn't fair really put, use, like, a strat any strategy for that part. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, it, it is, it's, it's mostly, like, doing that does sort of become a little bit amusing too. Uh, it's been a while since I played as Farah, but now she has more tools to play around with. Because the thing that I really like about playing as Farah is that like, she's like, she's like Regal in 2D. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. And I really like playing as Regal in Symphonia, so when I started to try out Farah this year, I was like, oh my gosh. I, it was like, it was like, it was so, it just came so naturally. I, I love playing as Farah in this game. Um, I just hope I can remember playing Farah so I don't end up screwing things up playing as her. Uh, I think I got everything set up properly, I hope. Uh, I guess I can make that life, sure. I like the how they made Farah this brawler slash healer character type, which is not the usual thing you see for a healer. Yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. I, I guess, like, the problem is it's more of a me thing. Like, uh, when I play as her, I keep forgetting that I have to heal, too. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I have to make sure that I'm on that, basically. Uh, Kiel, you need fireball and heal. Or Kiel can do the healing for me. All I have to do is the resurrections. Actually, how did I set up the Kramo Cages? Didn't I... This should be... Oh, wait... Be Undine should be Efrid and there you go. That should work. Wait, no, I changed it up because like uh, Kiel knows Fireball. Ooh, Acid Rain. But do I lose heal? Oh, I lose heal. Uh, how do I get heal again? It was Wind and oh, Wind and Water have to be in separate cages. Okay. Uh, okay, skills. Yeah, they got. Yeah, that's how we had it before. I just confused myself a bit. Okay, so we found an elixir. Got an aqua cape. Um, when it comes to Eternia, we talked about the soundtrack. We talked about the battle system. We talked about the the narrative. Uh, which one would you say is your favorite narrative character in this game? Like, how they were presented? Yeah, like, uh, their arcs. Like, um, how they grow throughout the game, and things like that. Oh. I think more of Teal, because he started out as this really obnoxious, academic-type, uh, character that, you know, didn't read first, until Meredith talked to him properly. 
But he, you know, he sort of grows out of it. And also thanks to Meredith a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice. Honestly, like, I'd rather... I'm sorry, go on. Heal, heal. Heal, heal. Healing. Yeah, heal the heal, heal the heal. Um, honestly, with Kiel, like, for me, I, I I exactly had the same impression for him, but then they really lay it on thick, like, at the beginning. I was like, it really made me not like him. But he does eventually get better. That's the important part. He does get better. Like, he gets better quick. Because this game is short, he does get better quick. Which is why I'm like, I'm not too hard on him. Let's do it. Talk, All right. Talk. Oh, ice! Oh, Gal's birds. These are just the, the ice versions of the Firebirds for the previous dungeon. Ah! Uh, did I screw up my setup? Hold up. Okay, maybe this is Triple Blossom. Maybe this. No, this is Eagle Dive. Maybe this is Triple Blossom. There we go. Well, so you said you played the PSP version last week. I was probably like when we were at version two. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Version two. Those were times. Those were times. All right, we got our, we got our other freeze charm here. We're gonna. That's why I didn't buy four because we find one right here in the, in this dungeon. If you don't have any freeze charms, you're gonna, you're gonna have a bad time with Celsius. But otherwise, when you pick up freeze charms, you're gonna be, not having as much of a bad time. But still, it'll be, kind of rough. But not as rough. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, tools. Let's get a holy bottle in. Okay. So this dungeon, you just pretty much need to know, like, obviously with any other dungeon, with any other dungeon, you need to know where to go. But there are some points on some of the snow falls through, basically. So you got to make sure that um, you use a sorcerer's ring, and you you also get a rude awakening because uh, you meet up with these big foot. Like Sasquatches or something. Uh, let's see if I could. Man, I'm really not playing fair well right now, unfortunately. Let's see if I could do something with this. Why? Why am I not? Okay, I screwed up the controls. Let's try this again. Okay, I think I'm starting to remember now. Maybe I did put this on down. Eagle dive, triple blossom. Okay. Let's see here. Demon twist. All right, all right. I think I might be getting into the the group with uh with Farah again. So let's see if we can keep on going here. Uh, hang to the right. Oh, oh wait, no, that's not right. Hang to this right. Oh, another battle. All right, I'm getting, I'm understanding Farah now. I'm remembering Farah now. Took a while, but we're good. We're good. Oh, jeez. Okay. Farah is so much fun to play as. I, I'm remembering it now. I'm remembering it now. Okay. There you go. There you go. We're getting, we're getting our, we're getting our links in. We're getting our links in. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Oh, I guess you can't go down there, huh? All right, maybe I should go here. Pick up a silver cloak, very nice. I guess Keelan, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, should I pick this up? Oh, I screwed it up. Oh, I, I keep screwing that up every single time. Darn it. Okay. Maybe I should light this one up. Okay, good, there's no encounter. Uh, oh, wait, 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 hang around there, because if you walk a little bit closer towards down there, you're gonna fall. I wonder if we'll get the glitch again. Let's see if Meredith can do it. There it is! Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's a thing with the with the this version of the game, the PSP version. I don't know why it does it. I never even noticed it myself until yesterday when it happened to me the first time. Oh jeez, that's not good. Remember it either. Yeah. Oh, this might not be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, guys, let's reverse. Oh, 
Oh, oh man, playing as her again, like, once she gets her stuff unlocked, it's like, oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun playing as her. Okay, we got a Sage. Uh, let's pick up this stuff here, Battle Pick. Miracle Gel, oh, we'll definitely need a Miracle. Actually, I, I don't know, I think we'll be okay. I hope we're gonna be okay. Uh, we definitely still need to Flamberg, though. Okay, I think we're ready. I hope we're ready. Oh, Celsius, Celsius, Celsius. Actually, we're not we're not quite as Celsius yet. Uh, there's some things we gotta do. We gotta pick this up first. But make sure you you walk around towards the east, because if you don't, you're gonna fall, and you have to walk all the way back up here again. So we got ourselves total oil, and this is not what happens because random Let's account. Do it. Oh, we, we should run. I don't want to deal with these guys. They cast Freeze Lancer. We don't want to. We don't want to encounter Freeze Lancer. We'll see more Freeze Lancer later. But we do want to. What we do want to do is uh prepare seafood. Pa no, actually, what do I? I'm pretty sure I have something here that could help out. Uh, not, I only have one set of carbonara that I still don't want to prepare. But we'll prepare some sweet rice. Nobody we have is good at preparing sweet rice. All right. Well, see, that's what happens if you f if you go to the left. You're gonna fall down. You have to climb back up again, because you definitely need that total oil for later. Okay. Uh, so let's get the holy ball in. Uh, where are we going now? I have to head west now, because now we have to go to a pillar to sort of burn with the total oil. I'm gonna miss that treasure chest. I know there's a way to pick it up, I just couldn't remember. But this is the one we have to burn. If you if you examine this pillar first before picking up the oil, then... <laughs> wow, it's really blazing! <laughs> I, I love Reeves' ob observation lines. Like, wow, it's big! Wow, it's tall! Wow, it's really blazing! He's like, yes, Reed. He's so easily amused, but it's, it's, um, it's, it's amusing. Let's do it! Alright, same set again. Oh, not Freeze. I forgot these enemies could cast Freeze Lancer. That is not good. That's a little bit of a demo for those who've been wondering about what Freeze Lancer looks like. For a 2D game, it really works. Jeez, Rising Dragon Strike gets, gets hit. Uh, I, I need that other I need that other art. Um, the one where it's like it's a diving kick. I think it's called uh, uh, Death Blossom. Yeah, I need that one. No, I need regular bomb strike. Don't waste too much TP quite yet. Oh, stop, stop, stop comboing me. Alright, so you went from you went from Eternia to to Destiny. No, you can't. You went from Eternia, you went to Destiny for a bit, then you went to Fantasia, you went back to Destiny, and then you played Destiny 2. Um, yeah. After Destiny 2, what happened there, Abby? Oh my gosh! Like, what happened? So, Destiny 2. So after Destiny 2, I actually stopped. Or at, at least I didn't get any, run into any other Tales games for a while. Wait, Destiny 2 is PS2, right? Yep, PS2. Yep, sorry, sorry. What happened was after fin after finishing Destiny, like, I, you know, I didn't really have any other games to play at that time. Because I didn't know they, you know, they existed. So... Like, I didn't have any other Tales games to play until uh, Tales of the Abyss is released. Like, it suddenly got popular again here when uh, during the time Abyss was being promoted. So, I went to Abyss then. And then that's when I also found out about Destiny 2, Legendia, Rebirth. And Rebirth, I didn't actually play. But after Abyss, after I completed Abyss, that's when I went to Legendia. And after Legendia, that's when I found out about Destiny 2. Like, the real oh, Destiny 2. Oh, okay, okay. And that's when I played it. All for uh, PS2. Yeah, you went through a lot of the PS2 stuff along the way then, huh? Yeah, like Kingdom Hearts and a lot of RPGs, basically. Okay. It was and easy for me because I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure in the US or Canada, but... I think you're aware, like in the Philippines, um, like a, a PlayStation One or two that's 
you know, the re- wherein the region lock is sort of like modded out or, you know, modified is very, very common. Like, that's the, uh-huh. that's the basic console you're gonna get here. It's already, the region lock is removed, technically. Okay. You can play any, technically any US or Japanese game. I see, I see. Uh, I, I actually didn't know that, huh? Um... Yeah. Like, if you buy it, the shop, the thing they get, that's the first thing you're gonna ask. Like, do you want it? Do you want the region lock removed? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please! Yes, please! <laughs> uh, I, I can't tell you, like... That's illegal, I think. Just so happens that the shops do it regularly. Yeah... <laughs> well, hmm... Well... Did you think you'd win? You own the console, so, like, you can mod it. As long as you own it, yeah. you can mod it, but... But I think I, it voids the I, warranty, for y- one thing. Yeah, it just voids the warranty. Cause like, um, man, it took me a, it took me a long time to mod my PS2. But when I got to it and when I finally played like Tales of Destiny 2 for the first time, I'm like, wow, this is it. This is finally, <laughs> we're moving on up in the world. But that's kind of cool. How, well, they well, it's cool how you got to play it early, basically. Yeah. That's when actually, that's when I actually went back to Tales when Abyss was released, and that's when I started AC. Oh. Oh. That's what sort of rekindled it. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. I remember uh, when you were doing those yeah. AMVs of the months and everything. Yeah. Which makes me realize, since I started AC in high school, I think I played the turn of Infantasia and Destiny during grade school. <laughs> I for see, primary I see. school, I'm not sure if that's what you call it. Uh, it, it, I, I think I get what you're saying. It's like it's kind of around like uh when you're in your teens, basically. Yeah. yeah. You want to go over the the history of AC for everybody tuning in? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh <laughs> boy! Go, go ahead and fight Celsius first. All right, all right, we'll fight Celsius first. All right. Oh, time's up for the question. Uh, the correct answer is a, a, a toy duck and a spring. We, we picked those up eight times, so I hope you've been paying attention. Bye, Oh, little things about this game. I like how, like, when the Kramos do interact, um... The person who's carrying the cage will react to them, basically, or bring them up. Oh. There we go. Pissed off Celsius. This is Efreet's fault. It would have been an easier fight if it weren't for Efreet. Alright. Here we go. Celsius fight. Uh, I mean, the only really big issue with the fight, well, there are several issues, but one major one that we're negating is that she can freeze you. So once you get rid of that, then it makes it a little bit easier, but um, it's still going to be a challenge because she has a particular moves that are going to be pretty rough to work around. Uh, I think I have everybody set up properly. Okay. Oh, this is a good start. This is a good start. Bring... Meredy, you know what to do. You know what to do. Bring up the batteries. Oh, no batteries this time. Okay. We're, we're being... Oh, she knows. Yeah, her voice is also pretty sick, too. Like, I think... It's, it's a very good, uh... 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 Performance, I like to say. Yeah. Oh, Jade's Freeze Lancer. Oh, actually, it's not so bad. She's only aiming for, for Keel. Okay. That was good. That's good. I'm okay with that. Keep it going. Oh jeez. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, no, not maximum burst. Oh, what's going on the camera? Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing with uh, Mystic Arts. The, the camera goes a little bit wonky, essentially. Uh, let's uh, get a healer going. I'll help you out, heal. Oh, absolutely- No! Oh, oh no. pain, pain and misery. Okay. Oh, no. I wish I had Death Blossom. Uh, oops, not that art. 
Uh, okay, let's get an apple gel in. Oh no, she's dancing around. Oh no, she's doing the thing. Oh no, okay, that actually didn't do so much, so we're okay. Uh, life bottle. Hop over. Ah, pain again. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen? Who's using a life bottle? Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Read. Read. Yeah, this boss fight ain't so bad, I say, as uh, all this stuff starts happening here from the very beginning. Yeah, this, this, is, this is perfectly alright. Oh no. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Let's, let's get another apple gel in. Uh, okay. And let's get a lemon gel for myself. Now, I wish I had Death Blossom. It'd be a better way to approach, but I only have Eagle Dive, which isn't particularly as good. Oh, she's doing it again! Foolish. Foolish? A little bit. Ah! <laughs> she's doing with the camera. That's what Maximum Bruce is all about, just abusing the camera like that? What do you think you are? Just scary a character? Anywho. <laughs> uh, let's uh, get Rita and get another life bottle, because I don't think I can get any lives in myself. Uh, let me jump for me, sure. We barely got any damage out. Oh no. Oh, actually, that's good. That sucks. Okay. Uh, everybody go forward, gather together. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is good. Demon Lightning Hammer. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, we need a we need an apple jump for you. Oh no. Okay, I think we might be in a good position right now. I hope. I hope. Uh, okay, Keel. Get some spectacles going. Okay, we're kind of getting close to half. Oh no, Keel. Get you an apple gel. Oh, hey, that didn't even help. That didn't even help. Darn it. <clears throat> okay. Reed. <laughs> Get a life bottle in. Uh, how's our strat looking? Keel still on the floor. Palm strike. <laughs> Swallow dance. This might will be like a mirror match between Farah and, uh, and Celsius, to be honest. Because they both kind of behaved away a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe this will help distract Celsius. Oh, no, wait, I have Merity use the life bottle. Okay, uh, we need, we need a life in. Okay, try again, try again. Try to get Eruption out, please. Oh, no. No! Oh, wait, is she gonna, is she gonna link it? Okay, no, we're still okay. Okay, get an Eruption in. Did she really move out of the eruption? Darn it! Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, let's get a let's get a life in. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! There we go. Okay, okay, Reed's alive. Uh, get an apple gel in. Maximum burst is hype. I wish I was the one doing it. Demon lightning hammer. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Reed. All right, all right. I gotta do some distracting right now. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my gosh, my party! <laughs> oh, this is, um, this is, this is, this is amusing, I, I'd say. Okay. She's just walking menacingly. Oh, n really? Really? You really want to go overdrive on this? Come on. Try to move out of the way. Okay, okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Go behind her. Stay away. No! Wait, will that hit me? No, I don't think it will. I don't have enough TP for life. Okay, uh, let's get a melange gel in. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I can't dodge that! Oh no. Can't dodge that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Run away. Keep running, keep running. We're okay. Okay, let's revive somebody. All right, Reed, you're the star now. Uh, you, well, help distract, please. Anything? Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Well, well then, we'll win next time. We'll win next time. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's try that next time then. Okay. So what? What went wrong there? <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Let's uh, keep those stuff on. Let's keep Eruption on. Um, let me just fix some of the equips here. Emerald Ring, yeah, sure, that kind of works, I suppose. My big issue... Oh, Aqua Cape would be really good. I don't know why I didn't have that on earlier. Uh, let's get that here. And... Mental Ring for Re, I suppose? Hmm. What was the big problem? It was the maximum burst. Okay. Yeah, maximum burst. Yeah, so I have to figure out a way to sort of like work around that. You know what? Actually, we need we need our team split up a bit here. Um, let's have let's do one of these. I'm gonna bring Farah here, Meredith here, and bring Reed here, Keel here. That might that might change something up a bit. So that way, like, um, if she uses Freeze Lancer or something like that, like, we could kind of keep ourselves separated a bit, I'd like to say. Okay. Oh, wrong menu. Uh, okay, we're all fully healed. All we need is TP. Uh, let's prepare... What did we prepare again? Soft cake. Okay. Kill. Thank you. Okay. Alright, take care, KP. Round two! Fight! Remember when I thought the freeze charm was the only thing we, we really needed for this fight? Looks like we need a lot more than that, that's for sure. All right. After this unrequited love, let's do this thing. Split up, guys. Search for clues. All right, let's, we're starting off with this again. Yep, CP knows what's up. This is all your fault, Efreet. At least you're going to start us off with it, though. Oh, did did she interrupt Efreet? Oh my gosh, really? She interrupted Efreet. Oh, 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 oh no, she straight up interrupted Efreet. Okay, okay, I, I gotta I gotta get one of these out. This is a good start, everybody. This is a good start. I did not realize she was gonna give this much of an issue. Oh no, oh no, I ran into that. Oh no, wait, maybe maybe having that strategy we had was probably not the best idea. Let's, uh, maybe, maybe I was overthinking. Let's go back to the original strat we got. Alright, well, it was worth a shot to try, but it didn't particularly work. I think the key is that I need everybody alive. Oh, did Keel cast it? Okay, okay, yeah, that, that makes more sense, that makes more sense. Okay, bring back Meredith. Uh, Apple Child, please. I have to get hit by more Freeze Lancers. And let's get a Life Bottle in. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Keel is standing right there. Poor Keel. That camera effect is a little bit distracting. All right, good, we got it out. I wish I had a treat right now, or energy tablets, or something something that could heal our party members quick. I I know there's like, you could get nerds, but you get that a little bit after this, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, all right, lemon gel. Uh, what else do we need? We need another lemon gel. You know what, I'm just gonna go full ham on these items, because Celsius really doesn't want to play. All right. Uh, maybe one more apple gel, and we should be good. Reed really trying his best. He's really trying. Um... Okay, let's go. Alright, alright. Yeah, freeze out to the other side. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's try to get- Oh no, he's gonna cast Fireball, isn't he? 
Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna break it again, isn't he? He's gonna break it, or he's gonna cast it. Of course he- Ah! Oh, okay, whatever, whatever, we'll, we'll grind the gauge again. Okay, let's get another apple gel in. Oh jeez, oh jeez. This is... How much HP do you have, Celsius? Alright, we're just a third of the way through. Let's keep going. More eruptions. At least eruptions helps me, like, breathe a little bit and maybe use some items as well. Uh, apple gel. Thank you. Yeah, that's the big thing about eruption that I, I completely forgot about until last night. Uh, get a launch jelly. <laughs> I tried to jump up in the air and the icicles threw me back down, and I got stunned for it too. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Stop. Please stop. Alright, I think we... Uh, I don't wanna- I don't wanna jinx myself. I'm just gonna try to focus a little though. Okay, apple gel. Apple gel. Okay, let's get a palm strike. Swallow dance. Nope, that'll- Alright, 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 alright. Keel, you wanna use an item on me so that we can get oh. every out? Yeah, let's bring out the batteries. Oops, not that. Now let's bring out the batteries. Oh no. Okay, there we go, there we go. Battery time! Okay, there it is! There it is! Alright. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. For those who are wondering, I keep using Spectacles because um, it's an old Tales game. You have to use Spectacles to keep checking their HP. Uh, specta spectacles were later uh, uh, localized into Magic Lights. And I miss Magic Lights, personally. They kind of they disappeared right after um, Zest. Right after Exilia 2, I want to say. Oh. Oh no! They no, They disappeared right after. Uh, uh, no, the Exilians don't have magic lens. Um, they they disappeared right after. Uh, uh, Narakiri Dungeon Cross. Yeah, that sounds more right. Oh no! 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 What if this? So you? What if this? What if this? She comboed into like a two arts in a row there. What the? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We're, no! 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 Use the items. Run! No! 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 No, you guys! You're get no! No! No, 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 no. No, you were all right there, too. What is happening? Uh... Oh, okay, it's just Keel. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be another effect, but oh well. Okay, get up! Oh, Keel doesn't get the EXP! Alright, well, that's okay, I guess. That's okay. Keel just had to get caught by the absolute, but we got it. We got it. We got it. <sighs> it's just Keel. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, oh hi, Gnome. No, no. I think your Gnome is actually adorable. He's adorable, but his boss fight was, uh... Huh. <laughs> 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 it kind of lost some uh, adorable, adorable points, basically. <laughs> oh, Efri. When I when I first saw the scene, I thought Gnome was gonna, you know, jump on her. So. <laughs> like he's been doing in battle, just suddenly becomes really big. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Celsius really became popular after this game. Might be the might be the battle or the design, but everything just fell into place, I suppose. Raiden Mythology 2 definitely helped out with it since uh, she became a playable character in that game. I wanna say first playable Kramo? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got our uh, freeze ring right here, which is basically basically our other sorcerer ring power. Which, yeah, they explore sorcerer ring powers, but but they're never permanent. Uh, you know what? I think Celsius should go with Efri. You no one seriously. Make yourself at home. <laughs> 
stay away from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> if if you put her in the other cradle cage without Efri, then nothing happens. So obviously you have to choose that option. Okay, we got the elixir, we got lavender, we got hourglass, and poor Keel is now the one behind. Um, let's get a fringe in. There's nurse. Nurse. I'm glad we got nurse after that boss fight. Perfect timing, nurse. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's run. Fireball. A snow lobster. <laughs> I'm just forget it. A snow lobster. I, I'm not a biologist, so I don't know if a snow lobster is actually a thing. So please correct me if I'm wrong. If snow lobsters actually exist, I just think of lobsters that you prepare at restaurants or something. I thought they were more so in the the fire environment, no, hotter environments. Uh, I'm a doing? biologist, and I'm not even sure. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you, biologist. <laughs> Uh, okay. I should use a holy ball to get out of here. That's what I was trying to do. I don't- I'm kind of scarred by that Celsius fight. Let's just get out of here. Uh, oh wait, there's a shortcut. All the way to the right here. I'll divide. Yes. And... Let's keep climbing down here. And I think it's like... Another shortcut here. Should we do this fight? Ah, yeah, sure, why not? They don't look as harmful. Did I learn anything from that fight? Did I learn Death Blossom? No, not quite. Oh, I like the the chat, the After Effects that uh that Farrah did there. All right. How are we doing to the schedule? I got 58 minutes left on the clock here. Um. You know what? I think we're still going to be okay. <laughs> I think we're still going to be okay. Again, Eternia is a really short game, so I'm okay if we had the game over there. This schedule does allow for game overs for, for Eternia. For Eternia, of course. Uh, Vesperia, not so much. Did we have... Oh yeah, we had a game over against Gattuso, if I recall. Um, but other than Gattuso, I don't think we had any other game overs in that. We had the PS2 stuff. Um... <laughs> you want to? You, you you still want to go into the history of AC, or how are you feeling, Abby? <laughs> I remember in 2006 when I first uh, had a message about an AMV of the month, and it was uh, somebody by the name of. Uh, a745 and she said oh i really like your amv <laughs> can i use it for your website like sure why not and I, I and i felt a little bit i felt a little bit humbled there because like um you were the one that really got me into doing amvs <laughs> yeah oh, yeah no you're you're welcome just being honest here because like um you did like this. You you don't remember this, but I still do. Um, it was like you did like the change the world in Yasha Tales of <laughs> AMV, and like I showed my sister. It's like look at this. It's really good. I'm gonna try to do this. <laughs> and then <laughs> I did a couple, and then you you chose the AMV of the month. It's like all right, cool, thanks, awesome. <laughs> and then I saw your website, and then I joined, and then you know, the, that's when everything began with staffing. The sad thing with the AMVs before, because I think the whole copyright thing on YouTube become became really rampant, so a lot of us really lost our AMVs along the way. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting because, like, back in the day with YouTube, they put a lot of like AMVs on the front page. Like, it's weird to think about now, but back then, it's like, oh, you, like you see a random bleach. Like you could AMV. upload anything you want. Yeah, basically. Broadcast yourself to those who remember that tagline, but um, yeah, ever since like they started getting hit by the uh, the copyrights from the other companies, that's when things start to get a little bit more regulated, for lack of a better term. It is unfortunate. 
But, I mean, it's life. It's life. So I like this little thing here. Everybody is so happy. And it, it's the little things. This game, it feels like a like a side episode sort of thing. But it's nice to, to, to do good things. We, we saved this town. Everybody is visually happy. It's nice to see, you know? The song compliments it too. Everything's changed. It's all thanks to us being heroes. Also, don't ever trick Reed with food. He's gonna get angry. He's gonna get absolutely angry if you don't give him his food. <laughs> Oh, finally Belir. we hear about Belir. <laughs> He's like, all right, me a kiss to our hearts. That's where we first hear it, everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mary's like, well, I hate to break it to you. Ah, Gaston. Max, oh yes. One of the best characters. One of the best characters in this game. Alright. Let's go meet up with this Max guy. Sounds like a good person. Sounds like a really good person. Now be our way to get to the hideout. <laughs> Eat as much as you want, Reed. Here's his calling card. Food. Look at that. We got like a. We got a. We got some pork. We got some greens there. Reed is ready to chow down. Uh oh. Somebody didn't leave it on silent. <laughs> Might as well be a phone. <laughs> guess we're not guess we're not heading off there yet though. Looks like we need a place to reattend to. All the way to Iman. Uh oh. That don't sound good. That's right, Farrah knows what's up. We need to attend to your emergency first, Meredy. But they waited for the morning. Well, I think, I think the guy was probably asleep, probably. It seems like it's the middle of the night, right? Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? That's a good point. That's a really good point. It's uh, like an emergency. Like, can, can't we go the night? Uh, yeah, we really should have. Yeah. We really, really should have. I guess they wanted to be kind about it or something. I don't know. I guess there are times to be cordial, but... Oh, well. Alright, here we go. Let's head off to Iman. And, uh... I just like how everybody's so happy here, though. It's like, you did this. You were the ones who brought peace to this town again. Everybody's just having a good time. You hear the happy song. It's the little things. Uh, let's get a pine gel. Okay, I think we should be good for supplies. Uh, what else do we need? Yeah, uh, Farrah really is the, like the protagonist. Of, yeah, like this game, it really just sets up Farrah being the protagonist and everybody else really tagging along, but then they all grow in their own ways, which is cool to see. Uh, am I missing something here? Uh, maybe... Let's change some of their equipment here. We don't need the freeze charm anymore. Uh... I'm gonna give... Okay, he's got the bento ring already, so he's fine. Why is her luck negative three? Because of the ghost shell? Yeah, I... fair enough. Makes sense. 
Uh, let's change the Aqua Cape to... Uh, let's go with the Protect Ring, I guess? And maybe add the... The Talisman. Okay. Keel, on the other hand. Um, maybe we should get him... Forgot what I had for him before. I think he gave him Elven Boots. Actually, no. He doesn't need the Elven Boots. What am I doing? Uh, let's actually give him... The Resist Ring, I suppose. Let's give the Elven Boots to... Hmm. Maybe Farrah should take it. And Meredy, you can have... The Moon Crystal. Okay, I think we should be good. Uh, do we, do we need to pick up some ingredients? They do have ingredients here, but I can't remember where the store is. Uh... I think we'll be able to pick up ingredients in the next area we're gonna go to after this anyway. Oh, who are you? That's a very artistic way of describing yourself. Do you do you remember which Tales games you haven't played, Abby, out of curiosity? Uh that's the Rebirth. Um The Hearts are. Hearts are technically the ones that that are for the Vita because I never got the Vita. And uh, and then the, the like obscure ones like Summoner's Lineage and Narikiri Dungeon 2 and 3 I think I didn't play yeah, at least I can't remember but I was able to play like Narikiri Dungeon Cross the Full Voice of Fantasia and also the other ones like Versus And Twin Brave, yeah, I, I, was, I was able to play those. Okay. I think my problem with Robert was at the time, it was really hard to find a copy. But now I have a copy, my PS2 doesn't really work anymore, so... Aww. Aww. Maybe... So it's just, it's like there for collection purposes. I see, maybe you can find like the PSP version. Yeah, that's true. By the way, I, I think I remember you telling me this. You also played the iOS version, right? Like, you finished that from start to finish of Fantasia? Fantasia, yeah. How, Part how... Was difficult, though. Uh, what was that? It was difficult. Like, I, I'm not sure if I remember, right? Like, the encounter rate is higher. And yes. that was sort of slightly more difficult. And if I... I'm not sure if I remember, right? I think you need... You could spend money to... Like, either get more gold or XP. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I really can't remember. I think you get both. You you, you have the option uh, to... Like a bonus? Yeah, to, to get gold. Okay, I think there's four items. You get more gold. You unlock save points. You... Oh, I forgot what one of the other ones was. But I know one's where it's like you... You get a revival orb too. Where it's like if you, if you get a party wipe, then... Your party will revive. Um, right. Yeah. So, so I think those are the premium items in iOS. But I was wondering. So, yeah, that that must have been quite the experience. <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> you went through that entire game. I didn't think I found the time to do it while I was alive. I think I, I was doing it in between <laughs> in between classes. Oh. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> well, hey, any way to keep you studying, right? Fantasia's the way to go. All about, uh, you know, going through Crest's story and whatnot. Alright, we're gonna have Chat finally join our party here. Um, she has, like, a mechanic where apparently you could do, like, a counter when you're hit. Um, I wasn't able to pull it off too much, personally, but she is kind of amusing, to say the least. Yeah, you guys are joining the party now. <laughs> How does it feel, everybody? You're now part of the battle. And this is all we need. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, are we ready for this? I hope I'm ready for this. Actually, I should probably fix up uh, chat's equips before I start saving and all that. Uh, let's get her a talisman. Silk cloak, uh, chat bag, hmm. All right, here we go. Off to the city of Kramals. I'm in. I remember how beautiful this was. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Callbacks to Tales of Fantasia, everybody. All the way back at Act 1. and I mean, all the way in the very beginning of Fantasia. The hometown getting destroyed. So unfortunate. All dead. Every single one of them gone. Oh no! Not Kukuro! Huh. Since you first played Eternia, Abby, uh, when you when you ran into this, uh scenario did you expect this to s suddenly happen i guess so when at the part where Meredith said that something's wrong with diamond it's actually one of the things i would question like if you think something is happening with diamond why did we have to wait for morning to leave <laughs> yeah yeah you bring up a very good point It's no wonder everything happened so so quickly. Yeah, oh my gosh, I never really thought about that, huh? Hmm. Like, maybe if they went right away, maybe they could have, I don't know, helped? Maybe but, they needed extra sleep. Yeah, I guess, you know, give, give what, give what, not question. Wait, what was that? You know, how, you know, I don't want to question the game plot. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if we just talk about it and whatnot. If it, that is actually a pretty interesting point, like, um, but I guess they need to sleep or something. But I, I hear what you're saying, though. Like, it's it certainly it is a little bit interesting why they well something to question basically because this could have this could have maybe been potentially avoided, but I guess we'll see right here. We still got some folks. Oh, I forgot to check on one more person. Oops. Meredy. Meredy. It's time. It's the revenge One of, of Heodis. Heodis. <laughs> Here it comes. So, <laughs> you Meredy's companions. <laughs> oh, this guy. The party. You will <laughs> be destroyed. All right. So you're the one, the one who did this for the town. Really, the voice actor had you're a fun time voicing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, he is this too. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen this guy. Uh, let's try to make sure we're we're ready for this. I think we're ready for this. Um, let's just use the spectacles first. Get up from behind and toss hammers for days. That's all you need. Fireball. Oh, they still have their things. I forgot to fix it. Uh, thank you, Abby, for the reminder. Uh, there you go. Spread still like should be better. Same with the uh, yeah, Actually, no, no. She needs just use freeze lancer, please. Ah, uh, sorry. I see Freeze Lancer. I think it's gonna hit me. There we go. More pow hammers. Rinse and repeat the pow hammers, and everything should be okay. More pow hammers. Show the power of the hammer. 
All right, let's get a Milan shell up for chat. See, chat, you're doing a great job. You're the best. Oh, no, except you let Kiel die, chat. Come on. Cursed roller? What the heck is that? Oh, it's like a mini Kamehameha wave. Or a Hadouken. I think a Hadouken is uh, more like it. Okay. Launch shell. Oh, now you let Farah die? Wait. Oh, no. Farah's gonna miss the nurse. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Let's get the spectacles going here. Let's see how far we're in right now. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is the way through. Who's using the item? Okay, I am now. Let's get a launch gel in. Am I semi auto? Feels like I'm. Just... Oh no! It must be the art, cause the art like lets you go like right in front of the enemy to use it. Cause sometimes I wish you could do it from afar, but I guess that's the thing about like I was gonna call her Patty, but no. Uh, that's the thing about Chat's arts. Like she moves a little bit forward before using it. Cause like if like the thing with the this fight here is like she he this is a little bit rough to get on the stun a bit. So now you got the stun. It looks like uh with Chat you can get a higher chance of getting the stuns in with the uh, on he this. And you get it right away at, at this point in the game, so it's it's a good it's a good time to use her basically. You mentioned you explored like uh you you, you saw Chad and Max, but you didn't end up using them, right? When did you eventually start using them, Abby? To be honest, like I as soon as I got them, I tried using them, and then I wasn't really used to having them there, so I removed them. Although I think uh. Max at one point. Uh, since, you know, uh, his art, art they call it art set back at that time, uh, since his art is, you know, somewhat stronger. I did, uh, well, there were times that I, I put him in the party. Sometimes when I needed both the Kramos, I'd, you know, pop him out again. Right, right. And I, I couldn't really, uh, remove Para because of the healing. Yeah. I think it's like with some of the Kramel combinations, you could get some some of your Kramel mages to heal a bit. So you could replace yeah. Kramel sometimes. I need like another um, close quarters character. Mm. I usually prefer it that way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like in the Arise demo, it's for many parties always. Uh, Alfen, Shiondo, Halim, and uh, Law. Because I usually have two, uh, two, two close, co close combat uh, characters and then two healers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm so paranoid with dying. No, I hear ya. I'm still, I'm still not used to like uh, CP on. Like, I mean, I mean, like when I see the demo, I'm like, oh, that's still something that I'm not particularly used to. But I feel like if I start playing the game, I'm gonna get it. A Meridy, let's get an apple gel in. Like sometimes and... I forget that CP exists. So I'm confused, like why why are my characters dying and then I check alright, because the AI stopped healing because we're out of CP. Yeah. A universal TP well, TP for healing has been something we've never seen in Tales, I'm pretty sure. So that's something very new for us to still condition ourselves to. Oh, that's the thing. With some spells, they zoom in. Uh, Nurse is one of them. Same with, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Celsius is maximum burst. It's actually one of my favorite renditions of Nurse. And we, like, have, we have, like, actual nurses yeah. smiling around and throwing first boxes at them. Yeah. That's the thing about, like, uh, this game, too. It's, like, um... I mean, Fantasia did it too, I'm pretty sure. But then, like, here they're, like, running in and something. <laughs> like, it's much more dynamic. Celsius. There we go. Yeah, Celsius. With the Femra, too. 
we don't see Fenrir in this uh, game, I think, except out of like, like we don't battle Fenrir. We we see in the in the Tremol summon, but not the but not like um, actually fight Fenrir. So it's kind of cool that like in Symphonia when uh, Southeast came back, they did bring back Fenrir as a reference. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh! What? The triple KO? Oh no! No, Merity! 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 Do the thing before he kills! Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, let's get a life bottle in. Farah, please. Why does this always happen near the end of the fight? Every time! Oh dear. Uh, get a melange gel in. And then, uh, we, we need, we need kill alive. We can't let him lose the XP again. Uh, light bottle. Oh, Farah! No! There we go. Okay, let's keep it going. Power hammer's going. Once more. And stalagmite in. Wait, how much HP? You gotta be like at like the 60s or something. 411? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. You're, you're gonna play like that, are you? Alright, get him on shell in. Don't kill. Alright, good, good, good. I demand they bring back ready nurses. Yeah, they should. They really should. Um, CP. I, I, I saw what you did there. Yeah, so, uh, we, we did, like, Kiel doesn't know about Hiedas. Like, even when we, even when we were outside of, uh, Professor Mazette's, uh, house, he wasn't there when Meredy told us that Hiedas was, uh, the guy's name. I think it would have set Kiel off even more if he had known earlier, but now I think he's able to have that information. That's right, Farah. Yeah, something changed with Hiedas, apparently. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's the person who I forgot to check on. I was supposed to check on... Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, oh, they re they intentionally removed her once you have uh, the other kid with you. Because before that, um, she has a bit of a scene where it's like, she's saying that they came and attacked us. Is he okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he had a... <laughs> I know it's a sad moment, but you didn't let him hold a screwdriver? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Man, no wonder he was so angry when we shopped with him and didn't buy anything. I think this was also the moment where Reed realizes that he needs to... He needs to own up and be- well, no, not really own up, but this is a moment that adds on to it, basically. Step up a little bit. There's something else later on where he does um, realize he needs to step up more, but this is the start of uh, planting the seed of it. I won't forget this. And and we kind of talked over it a little bit la uh, earlier, but like when when Reed was like, "He did this, you did this, or something like that." That was a that was a good delivery by uh, Kevin Miller as well. Oh, bones, yeah. I forgot the kid's name, Bones. Okay.
All right, now it's off to Tinsha. Thank you, Meredy. Wait, actually, we need to talk about what just what we need to do next. Lots of stops we made. This time, let's go to Tinsha. A little bit too cheery after the events there, Meredy, but I hear ya. Let's go to Tinsha. <laughs> Away we go. Alright, Tinsha. Let's see here. Right, if I, you're gonna have to go to Tinsha often. I know we make the dot joke a lot, but this is kind of our miniature dot in Eternia. But it, again, it's not offensive as dot, that's for sure. Um, the reason why we have that is because like there's so many times in Abyss you go to Dot, it, it gets a little bit, <laughs> it gets a little bit repetitive. If you remember from Abyss, Abby. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, here at Tinsha, where everything's technologically advanced. Ooh, where's the hideout? Well, <laughs> yeah, read those. It could be anywhere. It kind of, it kind of defeats the purpose of knowing where the hideout is, Farah. Anyway, let's get read up here. Uh, actually, let's get a chat here too. All right. Uh, how did I set chat up? Oh, I remember now. Uh, you gotta set her strategy to two and this to five. Okay. We need her to use power hammers a lot. If she's not using power hammers, then yeah, she's not gonna be worth it at this current moment. Oh, we got Tempest Strike! Yeah! Okay, maybe we should add a Tempest Strike. I like the base, like, Demon Hammer Swarm, Lightning Blade, and Sonic Blade, though, but I guess we'll get Tempest Strike in there. Uh, Demon Twist. Ooh, Mega Sonic Thrust. Oh, Spiral Attack. Oh, I keep looking at these and they keep teasing me. Once again, to those who don't know, like, when it comes to grinding out skills in this game, you have to keep using your basic attacks a lot to sort of, like, get it out. Like, use your slash attacks to get more slash arts. Use more use more uh, thrust basic attacks to get more of your thrust arts. So, oh, man, we're getting there. We're getting there. But I think there's one thing we need to visit first while we're here. Actually, yeah, we're just going to keep uh, looking for this uh, supposed hideout and whatnot. But while we're here, let's see if we could get some ingredients first. Uh, I think maybe we should get some for our, our sweet rice. Uh, I'm going to five of those. I think we should be good. Doo, 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 doo. What else is here? Oh, I think. Oh, I think we gotta go further up here. Yeah, no, I agree, Fruit Bomb. Like, do do you, have you paid attention to your slash and thrust levels, uh, Abby, when you first played through, or were you just like going through it normally and getting the skills as you went? I, I focused more on slash mostly and it, 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 i also focused on the skills that were more slash oriented I, I didn't really want to focus on thrust much i see i see so you didn't get things like uh neil swarm or things like that you you were getting more like the demon hammers demon twist. Yeah, yeah yeah oh let's hit yeah i like I like this whole thing in general. It adds more depth to a character you would not expect. It's so, like, oh, I, I love the whole Lysithia side quest. That's all I'm going to say right now. Uh, anywho, let's head up in here. I'm in the mood for some food. Who's this? Carousel Sushi. What the sushi? Yeah. Oh, hi, Kongman. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. I think they called him Mighty here. Or, no, 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 Mighty the Cogman or something. Uh, because, huh. Because he's, he's localized as Bruiser, but here they just kept him Cogman, so it's like, it's kind of inconsistent, but, ah, uh, whatever. Wait, oh, I don't think we got 2,000 gold. Oh, we don't got the money. Oh, yes, let's go. 
Oh yeah, we we don't got the money. Wait, no, we do got the money. No, we don't got the money. Oh, I don't got the money. Darn it. <laughs> oh darn it, I forgot it cost two thousand gold. Sorry, it's embarrassing. Let's go get some two thousand gold right now. Uh well then. I don't like to be called on being poor, so let's go grab some cash. Oh. Hi, Irene. Didn't realize you could uh, go across worlds. It's our combo command, by the way. Um, I don't know how to be able to combo command here. It's just your basic combo command that you see in other games. So, um, hey, if you want to play Tekken... Wait, where are the commands? This should be somewhere, right? Oh, I completely forgot where the commands are. Well, wait, 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 wait. You got to press, uh, start on these or something? Or square? I, there's something that showed you where the commands were, so um, I can't remember how you you showed them here. But that goes to show that I don't really use combo command in this game at the end of the day. It's not. I mean, it's up. It's up to you. I kind of want to try it out one day with like one game, just to 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 be really curious about it. But yeah, um, we can sell some of our freeze charms now. We don't really need them anymore. Um, which is good because we get like a net positive back because it's worth the same amount that we that we bought them for because we went to uh, we used the 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 miracle charm yeah okay uh, we got some life bottles uh, let's get the holy bottles up and I think we should be good just get some spectacles and now let's go meet let's go have some sushi again everybody. Uh, let's see, I think it was back to the left here. Alright. It's sushi time! I'm the master at speed eating. Well, let's show off our battle prowess here. Yeah, see, they called him Kong the Man. Even though, like, in, in the Tales of Destiny game, he was named uh, Bruiser Kang. All right, let's get this going. Uh, what do I need to focus on here? Just eat these. Oh, I missed one. Uh, let's get this done. So the strategy here is only to just focus on the colored plates. If you focus on the colored plates, you should be able to beat Kong Demand just fine. Uh, regular plates are just there to distract you, basically. There we go. That should be enough. Yep, just enough. It's kind of like that uh, bitty game from Pokemon Stadium, if you all remember that one. But you just want to make sure you only focus on the higher value ones, and you should be good. If you get distracted by the basic ones, then you're going to end up losing. Alright, Sayonara, Kong the Man. Kong the Kang Man. Kang the Kong Man. I don't know. Whatever you want to call him. Adios, buddy. We got Eileen and one. Yo, that's weird. We got Eileen and uh, and uh, Kong Man in the same city. It's a little bit awkward, but all right. Can't go in there without permission. What do you mean? Aha! Need a kiss to our hearts. We're gonna head down here and uh, down the stairs. Okay, actually, so I want to make sure that I'm ready for it. So, uh, y'all remember that one time that the first question of the marathon where we essentially had to deal with uh, a certain mook rush, you know, out of Tales of Vesperia? Well, it's time to run into it again. Instead of eight monks, it's Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, it's eight Shaliska Guard. It's loading up each and every one of them. Okay, so what I want to do here is just uh, constantly use Demon Lightning Hammer because uh, these ones, these guys are much more 
of a nuisance compared to uh, the monks we fought earlier. And keep having them use the spells Freeze Lancer and whatnot, and you should be okay. But the problem is, you want to make sure that they get they don't get too close to your mages, or else like things are gonna hurt. Things are gonna hurt. So Demon Lightning Hammer is usually like a good way to constantly spam in order to uh, get things going. And also, you want to turn off Rover Tool for uh, chat because you don't want it to steal stuff during this battle at all. It's just a waste of time. So using the Power Hammers with the Demon Lightning Hammer and having your mages cast stuff is usually a good thing to get things going. And it's not necessarily a battle you have to win. It's like um, you can win or lose, but I'd rather win, personally. <laughs> Don't we all want to win? Pretty sure that's the case. And once we get through that, then uh, essentially we'll be able to move on with the Pepsi here. You think like with the the eight people move thing, like the, sometimes you might be a little bit ill-equipped for this enemy right over here, but essentially that's all you gotta do for the most part. Say it. Mia gets to our hearts. There it is. Forgive Remember that one character that I pointed out that sounds. Oh Boston, yeah, Udini sounds like Isla. I'm pretty sure it's the same voice actress. So what's the next test? That was enough. Welcome to Shaleska's headquarters. We are the Revolutionary Army fighting for the freedom of men's souls. All of men's souls. I guess that's one and everybody else's freedom. souls. We came here to find out the whereabouts of Belir's castle. Do you know? Do you? You may call me Isla. Please come this way. Okay, Isla. Alright, so we are now in the Shaliska hideout. Um, the songs here, it's not bad. It kind of reminds me of Van Altia a little bit. And bit, also because like, we come here, we're gonna be coming here a lot as well. Oh, look at this! Look at this old school map. I dig it. It's surrounded by water. Yes, thanks, Reed. That's what an island is. And also, well, I mean, she did say castle, but you get the idea. Oh, I can't wait for the battleships in the next part. That's for sure. But we're not gonna be doing using those battleships quite battleships quite yet. The Aurora Art, yes, the Fibrio. Um, Abby, since I won't be having you later on, uh, how did you yeah. feel about like the the events of what Reed went through later on in the game, like particularly um, with a certain test? Oh, is this the one getting the, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But, uh, well, I really like the fact that you, you know, you, you could well not really modify how it affected the final battle. I really like that effect. Ah, uh, yes, the one that um is uh, all those three but the zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I might have some pressure like for when that moment happens. Like this. Yeah, and it, it, at least like they they sort of gave it the per an actual purpose instead of you know just giving him additional powers. Yeah. It's this cool little way of like implementing the narrative with the gameplay, which this game really does yeah. well. We're gonna be getting to these points later today, actually. I'm I'm really excited to get through it. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, we're now constructing some sort of Kramel cannon, all powered by Kramel cages. And we're gonna see if that's enough to burst through Belir's defenses. Well, I'm glad this game is um, going all out with the use of Kramos. There's no repercussions of using the Kramos this way whatsoever. <laughs> it's, just, it's a little bit awkward when you think about other games that are like saying, you gotta be mindful of the spirits, what are you doing? Compared to this, like, oh, we just, we're just making a cannon. We're just gonna go all out with this. Boss, we're good. It's Isla. The people Gustin spoke of are here. May we enter? Yeah. All right, the first yes. of many. You may enter now. <laughs> <laughs> the first of many. It begins. Here we go. This is the best character. The best character. <laughs> Mia, kiss to our hearts. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. This is the leader of Shaleska, 
Max. We've been waiting eagerly to meet face to face with the ones who tamed the <laughs> Me a kiss to our hearts. Yeah. That's three. We know your objective is Belia's castle. Yeah, maybe please. I should keep a count. I would like you to join Cheska. Or if that is not possible, uh. please consider an alliance. Yeah. That's four. We undoubtedly would like your assistance on the battlefield, but could you also it's just, assist us? This is just the first scene we see him too. Unless we build a small but powerful Kramel cannon, penetrating Balir's castle would be impossible. Sounds about right. Yeah. Five. Would you like to say something, boss? That's the size of it. Defeat oh, whoa, yeah. whoa. Conquer the world. Whoa. That's not a yeah. That's not a yeah. Maybe I should have a, another counter for, like, if he we says something different. That's actually more rare. But, we both want but yeah, this guy wants to so conquer the world. Oh, holy. All right, Max. I may have an idea you actually hated him at first? Yeah, yeah that's cannon. understandable. Ooh, Kiel might have an really? idea. Using the device known as a parasol, we can capture the greater cranals in a cranal cage. Isla's literary Shaliska Sphera? Hmm. Um, this is a parasol. Specially made. I'll hear more the about Galenos. that perspective. Galanos, the renowned Kramel scientist? One greater Kramel is worth 10,000 Kramels, so a small Kramel cage would suffice our need. There you go. Yeah. She does all the work. Yeah. <laughs> what about the yeah, that's Kramel? sick. Unfortunate, we have not found. That's that's a good Please. point for Chase. I see what Every you mean. Shaleskin knows where the greater Kramel sleeps. But no, we need the brawn, and Max is the brawn of this operation. <laughs> all right, let's head there immediately. Sorry to trouble you, but may I ask someone to remain here to supervise the refitting of the Kramel cannon? All right, I guess I he could take Quickie. Why don't I remain? I should be of some use. Besides, we kind of like want another mage. All right, fine, Kiel, you can go again. For some reason, you really like leaving so the party. Three. <laughs> don't worry, I'll come along with you. Yeah! yeah! Isla, take care of my Miyakis, Didi. She oh, please take like care of Didi. On her burgers, she's kind of. Well, you know. <laughs> I like how I, <laughs> he feeds feeding your pet burgers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, He's feeding it. his pet burgers. Right, let's move. <laughs> please oh, feed my me and kids burgers. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Please take out the pickles and the burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I love Max. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> Uh, mm, you too. Okay. Me a kiss to our Me a kiss hearts. to our hearts. Yeah. Be well. I like this place already. I like this guy, Max. This is good. This is a good start. Uh, additional button commands can be activated after a gun skill is activated. Yeah. So that's the gimmick with Max. I, I, when I played that, I think I kind of got his inputs, but. Um, I don't think I got them all firsthand, personally. But now that Max is in our party, I think, uh... I forgot how we had the setup for this. Hmm. My, my notes say change Max's stats, but, um... Well, I, I don't even remember what my stats were for Max, so, uh... Let's see here. Oh! Oh, this is what you have to change! No wonder I didn't note it down, I'll remember it! His stats, his stress are automatically set to 5, which means he's going to run into the enemy and attack them right away, which is in character, but in battle we really don't want him to do it. Don't, don't, don't let him run into the enemy all the time. That's the laugh of somebody. Yeah, no kidding. Man, I wanted Max, yo, when I did that uh, Eternia recollection thing, I put a hidden note there, I'm like, when are Rats and Max going to show up in a crossover game? And they finally made it a year ago. I was so happy when they both made it in Tales of the Race. Alright, I think we got everything here.
Did I say yeah? No, we're, we're, we're at six for the yeah counter right now. If my if my <laughs> counting is, is proper at the moment. You can board the ship from the pier. Would you believe it, everybody? We're still on schedule. We're still on schedule. After all those debts, we are still on schedule. We're still close to getting ahead of schedule, if anybody can believe that. Oh, this game. This game is good, but fitting it in a marathon over nine, uh, over three days is a little bit. It's a little bit of this hassle that has nothing to do with the game. It's more with myself trying to do it in the first place. You're a cute one. <laughs> uh, I like how we're adding more Celestians to our party, though. It, it's, it's a nice balance between both worlds, I like to say. Okay. I do want to go back to Tensha, though. Uh, I feel like there might be some, some more... No, don't leave. Go back. I feel like there's something I might have to buy here. But yeah, we're, we're about to uh, close off uh, soon, Abby. Is there anything you want to like say and whatnot? Because I think we got about like nine minutes left. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, I was just wondering if there's something like you wanted to share or anything you want to like plug with the Blizzard Chronicles or what have you. Because oh. uh, we're, we're about to wrap up the session soon. Okay. Uh... I think all of us are really looking forward to Arise, so you can check our social media channels for AC. We have an ongoing giveaway for a Tales of Arise Ultimate Edition uh, for, for each of our social networks. So that's actually five uh, codes for it. Although, I'm sorry, it's only for US and Canada at this moment because it's from the US branch of Bandai But yeah. Yeah. If so it ends tomorrow. Tomorrow, the giveaway, and then we'll announce the winner on Monday. Ooh, that's exciting. That's really exciting. So, like, uh, essentially, yes, um, they're doing a giveaway for um, the downloads of Tales of Arise and whatnot. Um, Say those the ultimate editions, right, for US and Canada? Yeah, so, yeah, so it's definitely. Only for, sorry, for US and Canada. And yes. it's for the digital ultimate edition. For any for any platform, so PS5, PS4, PC, Xbox, it will be the winner's choice. Yeah, so make sure to uh, go to uh, bisschronicles.com to get the full details on that. And uh, essentially, once again, the the giveaway ends at the end of today, so tomorrow the draw will happen. So uh, make sure to yeah. also follow Bissell Chronicles on Twitter for the most uh, latest of of tales of news. So. Be sure to uh, give them a follow because uh, they're a good group, I'd like to say. And also, next week, sometime next week, we'll have our review for Tales of Arise out. Oh, review for Tales of Arise. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, very interesting. Oh, and. Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, Okay. Uh, enter, uh, for each of our social media channels, you just either like or retweet or comment on it. It depends on the specific social media channel. But that's our Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Okay. Yeah, so, so make sure to follow all those social media channels to increase your, uh, to, to get a chance to use the group away. Yeah. And essentially, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look forward to that review too, because like, uh, when you guys did like the, uh, the coverage of the demo, I'm like, this is, this is a Tales fan coverage, not like, <laughs> you're gonna get, you're gonna get more Tales, a Tales of Perspective, is what I'm gonna say, compared to, I, I like to say so, compared to other reviews, poss possibly. You're more likely to get it from Bizzle Chronicles, that's for sure. We're not the people but... Uh, uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? Uh, you cut off there a little bit. Yeah, like, we're not really as technical as the other, you know, 
teams that will be reviewing the game, but it'll be more of from a Tales fan perspective. Yeah, yeah, and and that's and I feel like that's a good thing because like honest, uh, like uh, the conversation came up before where it's like, oh, uh, Tales games we kind of more so go for like uh, the the just playing the games and whatnot, and uh, not really for like the graphical fidelity. Even though we are getting it with the rise. Or performance issues, but if you want something that's more from a Tales perspective, definitely look forward to that review. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say and whatnot. I actually spent a lot of money on it because the since the collector's edition is so hard to get, right? So yeah. I have I'm going to import it from Amazon because I wanted the UK version. Mainly because of the, well, not specifically UK, the Europe version, because, uh, isn't it the US collectors doesn't have the costumes, for some reason I don't know why. Oh. So and I wanted the costume, the co costumes included, so I got an, a Europe version, and then they also opened pre-orders from the Bandai Namco Asia store, but that also ran out pretty quick, and whenever I check, it's always sold out. And then just I think it was yesterday they started opening pre-orders locally here in our shops and they sold out like minutes <laughs> no it's so annoying yeah i remember those pre-order woes um i think like yes i've been imported from you <laughs> <laughs> yeah well you know we we still all appreciate the work that you do for the community abby no matter, uh, no matter how many you. times you do it it's always a good it's always uh good to hear that um ac is going really strong with uh, community efforts Mm. All right, I think I spent enough time meandering around Tinsha. I'm gonna get to the next location, and then that's where we're gonna end off this part. <laughs> Jeez, this game is so short. Why was why could I, why could Eternia and Vesperia combine their powers together to bounce the, themselves out? <laughs> like, you know, Abby, I went through like two like overtime sessions just to get Vesperia done. <laughs> so it's it's a long game. <laughs> Yeah, Eternia, Eternia is pretty short. It's, uh, the Tales game that I uh, played through, I think, more than eight times already. But it's still pretty. But it's still pretty short. Yeah, and I, I think I personally prefer short. Or no, actually, I prefer. Hmm, it depends. I, I want like a. I, I want a balance between the length of this game and Vesperia, which I think Berseria is. But um, to be honest, though, I do like that this game is short because it lets you play it multiple times without worrying too much of how much time you're going to spend, basically. Yeah. And I like how even if it's short, it's still very much of a, a conclusive story in a close-ended uh, story. Some some of their more recent games didn't really have that. Or yeah. not really, not really non-conclusive, but more of you could have delved more into a specific part of the of the world or the game, but they kind of failed to do so, or you know, just wrap it up somehow. Yeah, like they wrap it up a little bit too early or something else along the lines, which is odd because, like, you know, yeah. like they they have like all these characters and everything, and yet, like, and then they have all this time, but then it feels it feels like it wasn't really balanced in terms of the attention they all get. Yeah. Like, this one's shorter, there's four characters, yeah, but it feels like for the most part, most of the cast gets like a really uh, interesting dive into their character arcs and how they operate together as a group. It's, it, it, it does perplex me sometimes. Uh, Vesperia is a bit of an example for that for me, that's for sure. Alright, I think we're here. Alright, Max, I need you to, uh, to, uh, cue in before we head off. Yeah. Ruins of Volt is inside the forest. Oh, okay. I'm glad we're in set forest before we start off the next part here. So, uh, this will be it for this part. Uh, we'll be back in 75 minutes. Once again, thank you, thank you so much, Abby, for taking the time to uh, chill and uh, see some Eternia and talk about it as well. So, once again, visit abyssalchronicles.com for all your tales of needs. Wow, it feels... Feels very familiar saying that. <laughs> oh, I miss you too. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. It's been good times, good times. All right, so we'll be back in seventy-five minutes. <laughs> 